Hi everyone and welcome to the veganism discussion on my channel. I'm sorry I am late but a lot of you guys already know that I'm notoriously late for everything. Um, so we've got quite a full panel tonight to discuss veganism. Uh, some of us are non-vegans and some are vegans and we have a special guest, Banana Warrior Princess, who's very well known in the field of veganism on uh, YouTube. I will put her uh, channel link below um, after the stream and the other guys too, uh, the relevant ones. So we've got um, on our list of vegans, we'll be discussing the vegan side of things this evening. We obviously have Banana Warrior Princess, so say hi. Hi everyone. <laughs> um, we've got um, also uh, Bohan, who a lot of you from Captain Switzerland's channel, you already know. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and then also we've got Maven Politic, who has a channel um, of his own as well, uh, which I'll also link below. Um, so, and he happens to be vegan as well. So, yeah, that's good. Um, all right, and then of, on the non-vegan side, we've got um, uh, myself. And then we've got Gerard, who a lot of viewers of Captain Switzerland will already Hello. know as well. Yeah, and um, also G Whistler was kind enough to come. Yeah. Moderating, we have voiceless Thomas Williams. Sadly, he's got a really sore throat, but he's just going to stick around and um, sort of overlook things. And also, um, Cameron Hickman is helping to moderate. So say hi. Hello. Um, so what we're going to do is I uh, have an article from Time magazine, um, which is coming from the non-vegan side of the argument, which I found earlier. And I um, thought I'd just put that across. I don't necessarily agree with everything in the article itself, but I thought we could kick off with that and then hear back from the vegans a bit more um, sort of detail about the lifestyle and diet, et cetera, et cetera, and see where it takes us. So what I'll do is I'll just quickly share my screen with you guys and we'll go through some of the article. Oh, you've got a bit of a loop there. Oh no, happens all the time. Is that okay? Can you see it? Um, all right. I, I, I'd stop it just for the title and say it doesn't really matter how we got here. Veganism is about where we are now. Well, this is true. But this, this is basically trying to say how meat eating as a general rule made us human. Um, it says, science doesn't give a hoot about your politics. Think global warming is a hoax or that vaccines are dangerous. Doesn't matter, you're wrong. Something similar is true of veganism. Vegans are absolutely right when they say that a plant-based diet can be healthy, varied and exceedingly satisfying. And that, not for nothing, it spares animals from the serial torments of being part of the human food chain. All good so far. But there's veganism and then there's veganism, the uppercase ideological veganism, the kind that goes beyond diet and lifestyle, uh, wisdom to a sort of counterfactual crusade. For this crowd, it's become an article of faith that not only um, is meat eating bad for humans, but that it's always been bad for humans, that we were never meant to eat animal products at all, and that our teeth, facial structure, and digestive systems are proof of that. You see it in Nine Reasons Your Canine Teeth Don't Make You a Meat Eater, and Peter's Yes, It's True, Humans Aren't Meant to Eat Meat. In Shattering the Myth, Humans Are Natural Vegetarians. Google Humans Aren't Supposed to Eat Meat and have at it. And and have at it. But sorry, it, I just think so. As a new study in nature makes clear, not only did processing and eating meat come naturally to humans, it's entirely possible that without an early diet that included generous amounts of animal protein, we wouldn't have become human, at least not the modern, verbal, intelligent humans we are. It was about 2.6 million years ago that meat first became a significant part of the pre-human diet. And if, oh my God, I'm going to have an issue with that. Australop <laughs> oh, oh, big words. Oh, I mean, I'm a linguist and even I struggle. Um, had the forehead to slap, it would surely have done so. Being a herbivore was easy. Fruits veg and vegetables don't run away after all, but they're also not terribly calorie dense. A better alternative were so-called underground storage organs, USOs, root foods like beets, yams and potatoes. They pack a bigger nutritional wallet, but they're not terribly tasty, at least not raw, and they're very hard to chew. According to Harvard University evolutionary biologists Catherine Zink and Daniel Lieberman, the authors of the Nature paper, 
proto-humans eating enough root food to stay alive would have had to go through up to 15 million chewing cycles a year. This is where meat stepped and ran and scurried in to save the day. Prey that, uh, that has been killed and then prepared either by slicing, pounding or flaking provides a much more calorie rich meal with much less chewing than root foods do, boosting nutrient levels overall. Cooking, which would have made things easier still, did not come into vogue until 500,000 years ago. Um, in order to determine how much effort primitive humans saved by eating a diet that included processed animal protein, thinking 24 decidedly modern humans and fed them samples of three kinds of OSUs, dual yams, carrots and beets, and one kind of meat. Goat raw, but screened to ensure the absence. Using electromyography sensors, they then measured how much the energy muscles of the head and jaw had to exert to chew and swallow the samples, either whole or prepared, in one of the three ancient ways. Um, what I'll do is I'll skip through the rest because you can roughly see. They concluded basically that a diet was one third animal protein and then two thirds OSUs um, due to multiple things. Um, and with the same daily humans, about two million chews per year, which is a 13 percent reduction. Um, <clears throat> so they go on to essentially say, like I've, I've read through the arts, it's really long. Um, that for lots of different reasons, the way in which humans developed was a direct consequence of eating partially mm. meat in their diet and not pure um, plant sort of uh, product, basically. So what what is your views on this whole thing? Um, it's, I, I, I would need to see the article and read through it. And I, there was a couple of things that I wanted to go back on there. I, the nature paper where all this came from i don't know mm -hmm. uh what was that called again uh because i'd want to know whether that was peer reviewed like whether that article what? was peer reviewed as, to begin with yeah uh, what i'll do is for the benefit of everybody yeah. i will put the um the link to the article itself in the side chat so people oh, can brilliant. sort of have yeah. it open in front of them that'll be, that'll be helpful yeah cool i mean i mean to me the the article basically the whole thing is like is like an appeal to tradition appeal to, to nature fallacy um because i mean like you said before you read the article it is it doesn't really it's not really relevant to today right because we live in a society where we can just we can have we can eat anything we want now we could just literally just drive to the supermarket um i mean i i agree that you know yeah maybe meat eating i'm not one of these vegans that would say that okay we are 100 percent herbivore i mean we can eat meat um, I'm not going to deny that. Uh, we have been doing it for thousands of years. A lot of people that aren't vegan will, will use this argument. We've been doing it for thousands of years, therefore we should carry on doing it, right? Um, and yeah, we could, I mean, we could be on omnivores. I mean, there is a lot of evidence to say that, um, that by consuming meat and dairy products that you have a higher chance of uh, getting heart disease mm -hmm. um, and things like this. Now, I mean, in terms of uh, the, in terms of getting a, a, the, the claim that uh, meat actually uh, uh, helped us uh, ad advance as the as a human species, I, I mean, it's, it's, you'd have to say that, like, I mean, with with meat, yeah, obviously it's, it contains a lot. It's it's high calorie, right? So when we were able to to um, when we came across fire, we were able to cook our foods. And one of those foods, you know, we were able to consume meat because obviously we can't consume meat unless it's cooked with all, you know, um, it's, we don't eat, we can't eat it raw, mm -hmm. right? So that's, I mean, that's a thing that would allow us to be able to, to, to eat the meat and consume more calories, which would allow us to, to live. Um, so that is one thing that I would, I would, you know, push on there. I mean, yeah, I mean, those are my pushbacks on the article. I don't know how you guys feel, but I mean, that's just my start well, for 10. Yeah, no, 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 that's good. That's good. Um, Maven, you said it's not about uh, what's gone on in the past, it's what about now. Do you want to like... Um... Yeah, I mean, like, so the argument says, they're saying it, it allowed modern humans to develop because um, it's a calorie dense food. And I think they said they, we did actually eat meat a bit before we discovered cooking by pounding the meat in and like breaking it down a bit physically mm -hmm. without using our teeth. But mm -hmm. that's aside. It, they're saying meat was better on our teeth, freed up time, and was more calorie dense. Mm -hmm. And it's like fine, whatever. But 
do we have abilities to eat without wearing down our teeth now? Yes. Do we have abilities to eat high calorie vegan foods? Yes. So it doesn't really affect where we are today. So, but, but when you say um, like it doesn't affect where we are today, do you mean just physically, like as in is your argument basically because we don't have to go out and hunt our own food and we're not, you know, none of us really are like starving and, and sort of almost boxed into the point where we would have to go and hunt or would have to go and gather things. Um, is it just basically essentially more of a moral thing rather more than physical to you? Yeah, it's absolutely a moral thing to me. It's all about animal suffering. So if you can minimise that, then I think we should. Hmm. I mean, for me, it's more of a principled argument than a reducing suffering argument. I mean, I, I believe in uh, human rights, first and foremost, right? And I'm sure everyone on this stream would, well, I assume that everyone uh, agrees that we should have human rights, like negative human rights, the right not to be exploited and the right not to uh, be murdered for no, for you know, needless reasons, things like that, right? Um, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm assuming that's the case. Um, so I think that you know veganism is a logical extension of the fact that I I value human rights uh -huh. because I cannot see any um, I can't see any difference between humans and animals that would um, cause us to justify the difference in treatment. Uh -huh. Does that make sense? So um, I don't know how you guys feel about that. I mean, we could discuss that further, but that's that's why. I feel that, you know, uh, that's what I can't think of any reason to, I, I can't think of any logical reason or any consistent reason to to eat animals. I find that quite hard to, I find that quite hard to kind of justify to myself. So that's why I'm vegan. Um, so it's not really just about, you know, reducing suffering because as a vegan, I, I, can't, redu I can't reduce all suffering to zero. And it's the same in the human context, right? So. I, I value human rights. I can't reduce all uh, human suffering to zero either. So, but uh, yeah. what, but what you're saying is like it, it, even if you can reduce it from from sort of personal effort to some degree, it's sort of like some you know it's worth doing essentially. Oh yeah, that's yeah, but that's I, my argument definitely. I mean, yeah. like we, it's, there's, it's well known that when you harvest grain, you're going to kill some mice in the field. Um, so I mean, even if you were to just eat bread. You're going to unfortunately have caused some animal suffering but it's just about drawing the line and saying i'm not going to intentionally kill animals and eat them or uh -huh. pay someone to do it yeah i'm not gonna like intentionally pay for um animals to be slaughtered you know murdered for food when i, I have a choice not to i can comfortably be vegan i can just you know i can just literally reach to the left instead of the right to pick up the plant-based milk than the cow's milk kind of thing yeah, I, uh, I, so carry on, I, don't, I don't see the difference. If you're if you accept that harvesting grains and plants involves killing animals, then you are by definition paying to kill animals. Yeah. yeah. Well. Oh. Go on. I know. Um, I would say if you want you want to feed a cow, then they need to eat grains. So you're still going to harvest all the grains anyway. It's just more efficient and it causes less animal suffering overall to eat the uh, plant-based source directly. Well. I mean, cows shouldn't be eating grain. That's that's um, that's how we feed them in industrial agriculture, which I don't agree with. So they they shouldn't they should be eating the grass. They should be on the pasture, being part of the natural cycle, um, fertilizing and turning the soil. So they shouldn't be they shouldn't be fed grain. Um, there is, I mean, that is uh, yeah, that is true. Um, obviously. Uh, it's probably not going to be very uh, efficient to do that, though, because it's we haven't got enough land to be able to do that anyway. But I mean, I mean, Mevin's um, point of view is a little bit different to mine because I I can't say that I I as a vegan I want I'm doing it because I want to reduce suffering to uh, the you know like a limited amount. I'm just doing it for purely uh, rights reasons and. And, and, and to be consistent within my own sort of moral system. So therefore, I mean, the way I, that I am consistent in my point of view is that, you know, like I accept that, um, you know, animals are going to be killed in uh, producing these grains that are going to be, uh, that we are consuming, right? Um, however, I mean, 
I'm consistent in my view because I would accept, I mean, like I, I accept suffering uh, in the human context as it is. Like for, for instance, I'm driving a car. I accept that I can be part of that death statistic, right? I accept that, you know, driving a car is going to cause death and uh, like inevitably it's going to happen, right? And I accept that in the human context. Why would I not accept that in the animal context where like driving a car is not completely, it's not, you know, 100% necessary, but we need it to advance society. Or I'd never say that, you know, uh, we should take away people's right to drive, right? However, like eating, that is that is necessary, right? I can't, you can't survive without eating. Mm -hmm. So, um, so I accept that there's going to be a certain amount of death toll in um, in buying these products, right? Um, I when I buy plant based products, I'm not paying for animals to be slaughtered or murdered. It's not it's not intentional, right? It's 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 accidental. We're, we're not paying for that animal to be to be uh, needlessly murdered. It's, it's accidental. Mm -hmm. And I would actually go so far as to say that, you know, if let's say that we can push this a little bit further just to like expand the point and just to, uh, just to help you understand a little bit more. Um, if say like, for instance, if I create a hypothetical to push on this point, just to demonstrate my point. Um, if for instance, humans, uh, let's say for instance, we contracted a virus, right? It, it made us into zombies and we were uh we became like really small like insects or or like mice or whatever and we were just can we swear on this podcast yeah sure okay so we were just like fucking up the crops because we had this virus okay we had like no more agency and so we were fucking up the crops and it meant that you know we we couldn't you know we we, we needed to, we still need to harvest these crop these harvest these crops because we need to eat mm -hmm. okay? but you know these these uh, these humans with this virus this zombie virus which is fucking up the crops i would accept those human deaths i would mm -hmm. accept that because i we've we've got to feed we've got to feed ourselves so i feel like my position is consistent because of the fact that you know i would accept those deaths in the human context why would i not accept that in the animal context if that makes well, sense I, well i mean i don't think that you know, I, I eat meat, so I don't have a problem mm -hmm. with the fact that, that death in, is, um, well, that's a bit blunt, but I mean, I don't have an issue with um, the ethics of it. I mean, if animals sure. uh, are killed in, in for humans to eat food, then I, I think that's perfectly acceptable. Um, sure. I think it should be done respectfully, and I think it, I don't, you know, there's no need to take pleasure in it, but there's no, sure. I don't think there's any need to say that it's, it's immoral. But to say that... Um, mm -hmm. I think you're drawing an arbitrary line. I think to say, um, you know, there's some there's some death involved because we have to eat. I think you're you're ignoring the reality that you are choosing to eat food that is the um, uh -huh. and death is a part of that. I think that's just the reality of it. I don't think you can. Um, I don't think you can get away from that. So well, you're you seem to be saying that. Oh, well, well, let, let, let me finish. Let me finish. Yeah, I think yeah. you seem to be saying that um, it's 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 slightly less of a problem when it's, um, you know, like bugs or pests or maybe, you know, some little wildlife in the, you know, living in the, uh, on the plant fields or whatever. But when it's like a cow or a sheep, it's, it's something, um, it's, it's more, uh, you know, more of a problem. I, I think that's arbitrary. Well, hang I, on a second. I think well, you're I misunderstanding my position but... because uh, I said, I'm not saying that it's less of a problem. I'm saying that I'm consistent in my position that I would accept the deaths in a human context. If, if we, like I said, like we created that hypothetical, I don't know if you understood, understood that, but I mean, I, you know, I would accept those deaths in the human context. So why would I not accept that in, in the animal context? Do you see what I'm saying? Well, uh, I mean, I, I think you should accept them like, because uh, 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 I, I should that's, accept that's fashion. Well, what I mean is that I, I accept them because I, I don't well, I don't have a problem with, oh, okay. with eating meat. But I, I think that if you take okay. a vegan position, that that's inconsistent with what you're saying. If you if okay. you accept that those deaths are OK yeah. because yeah. we have to eat, then I, I think that's just not consistent. OK, no, so that would indicate to me then. I mean, so what, what you're saying is that, you know, I should accept the, the the animal deaths, but not the human deaths, right? Is that is that what you mean? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm, your hypothetical was a little bit oblique. I'd be honest. Well, um, what do you mean by that? 
I, I'm not really clear on entirely what it was meant to illustrate. Okay, um, I'll go over it again. <laughs> um, sometimes, you know, like tell me if I'm not making any sense as I'm going along, right? So, okay, so we have a world where we, we need to eat, right? Because we can't survive without eating food, right? We need it to survive. Um, if we create a hypothetical where um, we, we've got harvest crops, um, there are humans that contract a virus and the virus reduces them to the size of a mouse, okay? Um, they are just fucking up the crops. They, they're just eating the crops. They don't have any moral agency now. They're zombies. Um, well, I'll ask you, would you accept those human deaths because you, you need to eat to survive? Because I would. Um, well, I mean, it's a very unusual situation. I, I honestly yeah, don't yeah, know. It's, it's there, a we have a choice. We have a choice of what we can eat. I'm, I'm, yeah, I don't know if we would need to. And the question is, the question is, would you, yeah. would you accept it? And would you accept those deaths of those humans now? Because you, you, you can't eat without those crops, and the, and you can't feed those crops to the animals that you want to consume either. Oh, if you're saying we can't eat, we, we can't live without eating those crops, then we would have to kill them. Yeah. Yeah, and I agree, right? I, I agree. So, I mean, that is a consistent position, right? Would you not agree? Um, well, you, you, I, don't, I don't really think so, because if you're saying that those deaths are, are inevitable, then, mm -hmm. I mean, you're choosing to eat that food. You're choosing to eat the, the plant food. Ooh, I mean, there's no, hang on a minute. There's, there's, no, there's, no, there's, no, there's no consumption of food without death. It's just a part of life. I don't. I, that's yeah. the, that's why I don't have a problem with it. Yeah. It's so, not pretty, so but it's yeah. So you so you agree then that I then it's fine for the animals that are being churned up in the combine harvesters or the animals that are suffering to produce these crops. That's fine, right? Because you accept it in the human context, like I do. Yeah, but you're right. you're drawing a line with other animals. You're saying that it's not okay to 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 eat cow or or pig. Well, it's because you don't have uh, to eat the cow or chicken. Yeah, you don't have to eat it. But we have to eat some food, right, to survive. Would you agree with that? Yes, of course. Yeah. So we're going to have to accept a certain amount of suffering to be able to be, produce food. Do you? Yeah, do you I, agree I, with I that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, so we agree then that we're going to have to accept a certain amount of suffering to produce crops to be able to to eat because we can't survive without eating, right? That's a bit. Of my, I I go from that to say why not? Um, you know, eat, eat other meat. Why Why don't we just eat the meat? Why? Because that causes more suffering directly. No, it's not just about suffering. I would right. go as so far as to say that it's you know you are literally um, paying for the animal to have their to be stunned, to be hung upside down, to have their throat sliced, and for them to bleed out for us to consume their flesh. Whereas we're not doing that when we harvest crops. We're not intentionally paying for for animals to to die. We're paying for the we're paying for that plant. Well, well you plant. kind of are though, that's the thing, you are paying for that, because you acknowledge yeah. that that's, well, that's, that's a part well, of it. So I, I think well, it's just no. more consistent to just, just say, well... Well, well no, just, well, well you're not... All right, here's the thing about all this, though. There's actually no, like, tangible um, statistics on crop death. There's just It just doesn't exist. So it's just set speculation that that there is a certain amount that people would be worried about, even if it's just one. I mean, eh, you know. Well, I think we can assume, I think we can safely assume, I haven't got any statistics to hand, but I think we can safely assume so there is none. That, there, that there will be um, wildlife deaths in the production of plant food. Can you produce any evidence for, for no, that? as I say, I don't have any yeah. statistics to that. Yeah, so... But, I mean, but no, also, I would like... To to areas, I, I don't think that's an unreasonable... But plan. is there any evidence? I don't want to move on from that. Is there any evidence to say that when you buy meat, you are 100% statistically paying for that animal to be killed? Would you agree with that? Um, what do you mean 100%? Of course you're well, paying for that animal. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't know what yeah. you mean. Yeah, so so when, you, when you go to the supermarket, you buy animal flesh, um, their eggs, their milk, their cheese that comes from their milk, you are literally saying, please kill animals for me to consume, right? Would you agree with that? Yeah, sure. But when you play, when you pay for plant-based products, you're not asking you're not asking the farmer to kill animals for you, are you? Well, I, I don't. I think that's a difference without a, a difference yeah. without a distinction. 
because that's a necessary, so, necessary part of the process. So it happens. Yeah, um, but I mean, but, we can talk about how things are pro produced. As I alluded to earlier, I don't agree oh. with industrial agriculture. So yeah. when I when, when you say I ask the farmer to do stuff, I don't support specific practices. But um, we can we can harvest meat without necessarily involving a, any particular method. But if you're harvesting well, plants, by mm -hmm. by definition, you're going to be um, you're going to be you know interrupting the soil and the nature and the, the wildlife that that may happen to be there. Okay, well, but I can't but, prove but, anything on that. Yeah, stress. but I mean, we could talk about the soil and all that kind of stuff. But at the moment, you're talking about whether uh, you're you're uh, by the sounds of the things. What you're saying is you're using like a, an appeal to hypocrisy like okay i i consume meat but vegans you are hypocritical because you are still causing suffering that's your argument right now uh um, well we're, we're okay. not we're not addressing the principle of the argument so that's what i want to deal with really like uh, the principle of veganism is that you know um well let's just well i'll go through this with you i mean do, do you have like a moral system of your own do, do you have do you think that it's important to have a moral system? Yeah, I think some things yeah. are right and some things are wrong. Yeah, yeah. And do you feel like it's important to have some kind of consistency within your own your own moral system? Um, I think morals depend on the, the proposition. Well, really, the question you know, is... Them on the proposition at, at hand. I don't know. Okay. I don't know how I would rate consistency in any meaningful way. I mean, it, I, I guess so. I wouldn't. I wouldn't hold myself to that. I Even if you say well, that the morals um, depend on the proposition, they're going to depend on the proposition in a way that is consistent. Well, I mean, for instance, I, I think it's okay to to kill to eat food. You know, for animals to be killed to well, eat no, food. No, no, but I, I mean, don't think it's acceptable for animals. Just, to be okay, yeah, but the, the question. I mean, we're so, you're so kind of derailing a bit. I, I want to know whether you think, in your own moral system, do you think it's important to be consistent within that framework? Because you know, uh, that means you know, like in within your own moral framework, it should not contain any logical contradictions. Do you think that's important? Um, yeah, I, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't. I wouldn't say that it's. Um, I, I don't know how possible it is to live without contradictions. I, I, I can live with contradictions. Well, I mean, so do you think it's important to to be consistent though, within a moral framework? Because you you think that you, there's right and wrong questions to moral questions, don't you? Yeah, I think some yeah. things are right and some things are wrong. Yeah, yeah. So it's important to have consistency within your own moral framework, right? Because uh, yeah, okay, yeah? Well, I'll, I'll give you that. Yeah. Um, you know. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, <clears throat> uh, the question then becomes, you know, should humans be murdered for hamburgers within your own moral framework? No. No. Uh, and should animals be murdered for hamburgers within your your own moral framework? I think I think people um, I think people should be free to eat the food they want to eat. I don't have a problem with people choosing not to eat meat, and I don't have a problem with people choosing to eat meat. So, do you think animals should be murdered for hamburgers? Well, that, that's what I'm saying. When you say should, it's yeah, entirely it's dependent on the individual's preference. I so have no problem with eating meat. So, would you kill way, animals for hamburgers? Would I directly kill an animal? I don't know. I mean, I've met, we, we, in our society, the well, division of labour is such that we don't do that. I, I, I have no idea how I would feel if I was, because um, we're not raised that way. I, I, in principle, have no problem with it. I've never done it. Okay, so, you don't, so, so in, yeah, there you go. So in principle, then, you don't think there's anything morally wrong with killing animals for ham hamburgers, is that correct? Yes. Yeah, okay. So, I mean, in, implicit what you've said there um, it indicates to me that there is some kind of difference between humans and animals that causes you to treat them differently, right? So what I want to know is what is it, what is the difference between those humans and animals that causes you to think that it's fine to murder animals for hamburgers, right, but not fine to murder humans for hamburgers is it can you name a trait or a difference between them that would justify the difference in treatment yeah i don't i don't grant animals that, that to be equal to humans i don't think they are um they don't have the capacity um the uh the nutritional value we get from meat products is superior um okay. like i guess those two reasons i think essentially what do you mean by capacity uh, well, an animal isn't going to an animal isn't going to have a philosophical discussion 
An right. animal can't conceive of morals. An animal living on the pasture has absolutely no idea what pasture is or yeah, whether or not it's going neither, to end up as a hamburger. Neither does a, a human with mental difficulties. And yet, but, a human, a human can. but well, if you've got severe mental difficulties, then no, they will never be able to conceive of these certain things you're mentioning. But the, the, human, the human species, category human, can. But That's just an you, example of an individual with the capacity. Is, the cow doesn't this, have that. Well, maybe, maybe there is one cow within the herd that has advanced capacities, and it's just because he's a cow, you'd never know. Do you think that there are cows alive that can do the things humans can do? No, but I think there might be um, humans that are so severely de uh, mentally uh, retarded, for, uh, for want of a better phrase, that they are pretty much the equivalent or worse than a cow in terms of their Oh, families. yeah, sure, but yeah. They're, they're still so, human. So, but does that matter? If we're yes. saying if we're saying that the dividing line between animal one and animal two is their capacity to think, does it matter if they happen to be other species? Yes. Well, I don't understand. Okay. Quite, quite much okay. Hang on. Hang on a second. So you've said the yeah the capacity for philosoph philosophy and uh, morals, right? That's the difference that you've named. And Mavin's just pointed out that you know there are humans that don't have that capacity. Um, so by your own logic there, if we just go with that one trait, because we want to take these things one at, one thing at a time, right? Then in your own system there, it would be it would be perfectly fine to holocaust humans that don't have the capacity to uh, conceptualize uh, morality or philosophy. No, I don't. As I say, humans have, as a species, have the capacity. Whether individual okay. humans, so, so, whether okay. individual, hang on, whether individual humans uh -huh. are, are are afflicted doesn't matter. I mean, for instance, yeah. um, I grant the ability, I, I grant rights to uh, we as a society, and I agree. Uh -huh. We grant rights to people based on their capacity. So, for instance, we don't treat um, a person who's born deaf um, yeah. or blind um, any less than a person who's sighted. Okay. So, principle. so, so I just want to get the you know the uh, capacity for. Uh, morality and philosophy off the table first before we move on to the species right because it's important to take these things one thing at a time because otherwise we're just going all over the place and we we can't really nail it down right because uh, if you if, if if we were talking about these things in the human context we want to take them one by time one at a time rather than just delving all over the place you know so i mean are you conceding then that you know the capacity for to conceptualize philosophy and uh morality um, are you conceding that those 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 wouldn't be things now that you would value the most in a human? Um, so to grant I, the, to, to grant yeah, them moral value. Well, I, I mean, those are examples of of the differences in the capacity between human and animal. It's not specifically mm -hmm. those two. There's lots of, of okay. as as we you know obviously as we know, humans yeah. can do things that animals can't. Essentially, that's what I'm oh, saying. Absolutely, humans, yeah. Yeah. So you know, you might have uh, several different things. You can you can stack these kind of differences and traits up. Of course, they might. You, you're not going to have just one thing. But we need to take them off the table one by one, right? Um, because, like philosophy and morality per se, I don't think you would value them the most in a, in a human being. I wouldn't. I don't. I unless you want to, you know, expand on that. I don't. I don't really think that you'd say that you would value that the most you would say that uh humans have moral value just because they have the capacity for uh philosophy and morality because if they didn't in your in your by your logic it'll be okay to holocaust human beings that don't have that capacity right i think you're being reductionist i think if you take things one at a time you're ignoring the fact that it's not just about one aspect well, I'm not it, simply saying that it's just because yeah. you know, that it's just human's capacity for philosophy. It's the whole yeah. difference in, in the entire, all the capacities, the whole difference yeah. between humans and animals. It's not yeah. one at a time. I think that, I think if you do that, then you can, you, you can try and argue that, well, you don't value, okay. you, you know, you might not value philosophy. Um, so therefore, if a, if a human can't do philosophy, then he's mm -hmm. worth a bit less. I don't grant that. Well, it's also, is it not, um, if I just might, because I wanted to go through a couple of the side comments, um, w which I've sort of been ignoring a little bit. <laughs> um, but um, um, Callum was coming out with a few uh, points. He he basically um, mentioned further up the, the chat, he said, um, 
uh, that essentially it's sort of, I can't remember, I'm just going up. He said there's immediate difference between humans and um, other animals because mm -hmm. we're humans and would look out, like naturally, essentially should look out for the species first, for your own species first, is what is what he's saying. Um, and he also said that the natural cycle is for humans to eat other animals because humans are basically omnivorous. Um, so that obviously links into the stuff that you two were just discussing now. But also Cameron brought up the point of if you end up, for example, um, uh, I don't know, like, like, let's say, for example, deforestation. Um, he, he said we need to kill animals to harvest food because deforestation leads to the death of animals to pr to produce plant products. There's a problem in Indonesia, i.e. palm oil. Mm -hmm. um, so that um, essentially. Okay, so that, I mean. Those are two separate questions. Yeah. Um, yeah, I so to go to Callum first. But uh, essentially what he's saying is no, um, uh, you know, that humans are naturally omnivorous. Um, yeah. And it's it's also the way that he would, or, or, or that anybody in, you know, in theory who holds that view, would value, for example, human life above animal life. Like people don't always think of them on the exact same level. Yeah, I mean, those, I mean, you've thrown up t t three different things there to, you know, three different points there. Uh, I mean, I, as a, I like to go thing through things one by one. I can't, you know, there's, there's, there's like three or four or five different um, arguments there that, that everyone's put on the table, um, right. which I do want to go through, but I think okay, like, I, I just, I still want to address this argument that, you know, about the philosophy and the morals. Yeah, thing. yeah, go, go, go. Um, yeah, but I understand you want to. It's your it's your stream, obviously. You no, 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 no. You, you you go ahead. Honestly, yeah. you're you're the I expert. Just, I, I, get, I get carried away. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Um. So I mean, I I I'm sorry. I don't. I can't find what. what what's your name? The person that I've been talking to you about. Um. G. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice to meet you, G. Um. So yeah, I mean, usually with these conversations, like people bring up, you know, like like you are trying to do, uh, you're saying it's 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 a stack, it's a it's a combination of different factors, right, that um, make the the meat eating, eating justifiable, right? Is what you're so you're, you're for those there's, there's various reasons for it, for it, yeah. Yeah, of course, of course. Um, now, I mean, if you were to take those various reasons, okay, and um, let's say that. Each reason, each trait, each difference, if you um, add them all up together, but they are all um, individually, um, if you take them one by one, if they all are, um, if we take them one by one and they don't justify the, the murder in the human context, but then you're saying they do in the animal context and you add them all up together, cognitively, like, it's it's not going to justify it, is it? Do, do you see what I'm saying? Not if, really, if you... no. Okay, so you... well, I don't really agree with you. I mean, I, I understand what you're saying. I just don't. Think, I don't agree. I mean, well, I, why don't you I'm agree? not convinced by this. I don't find this argument convincing. Well, what is it about the argument that's not convincing you? Um, if... Well, because I don't. I don't see that uh, the animals. I don't. I don't have a problem eating animals in, in any moral capacity. I don't. Okay. I don't have an issue with it. Well, I don't no, see why. I, I don't see this convinces me to to think otherwise. Yeah. Okay. So if it doesn't convince you, and you don't think there's any moral problem, I mean, if you were saying that in the in the human, if you were saying, okay, it's okay to eat humans, uh, you'd have to have a reason for it, right? Do you agree? You'd have to have just. Well, there are various there are various issues of eating human flesh. Firstly, it's fat, uh, not fatal, but it's very very bad for us. Well, let's just, um, let's, also, just, let's just say it's good for us then. Well, it would also be very destructive to society. Let's just say it's not then. Let's just well, say we're, we're just holocausting, yeah. the, we're holocausting the retards. They don't mean anything to us. They haven't got family. They don't mean anything to us. They're, we could even say, we could even create a hypothetical where they are in a, a universe, we could create a universe box where we are, um, where we've got we've got these retards they don't have any capacity to uh philosophize and they don't have any moral um capacity they don't they can't conceptualize morality and we can easily farm them they don't mean anything they don't have any extrinsic value to anyone else okay and we can just harvest them and they're good for us it's it's fine now to kill them so we could create that hypothetical 
well i mean if, if you if you want to create a hypothetical that is mm -hmm. so far removed from any semblance of reality then i i mean i, I don't know i don't know how to answer that um well, my answer would be that humans uh, I, I grant the rights to humans regardless of their capacity because well, of uh, yeah what humans you know as species are and what they can do whether or yeah. not individual humans no, no matter how many um are you know however they're afflicted or, or whatever yeah, well, there are humans that can't do things for us as well, right? And that's another argu argument. You're saying what humans can, can do? What are, he, is, are you saying what humans can do for us? Well, I'm saying what, what, the human, what, what a human can do it's capable if it's of not, um, you know, if it's not limited in some way yeah. uh, due to uh, a genetic defect or accident there's or whatever it might be. There's no such thing as a human in the abstract. In the same way, there's no such thing as an animal in the abstract. There are only individual animals and individual humans. And we're saying well, I think in the case of an individual human, which cannot um, provide anything, they're basically a vegetable um, in term. Well, we, we call them a vegetable for a reason, you know, because they are similar to actual plants. What's the argument against killing and eating them? Um, well, there might not be an argument for killing them. That would be a discussion about euthanasia. Um, I mean, it depends on uh, the um, discussion is we think, oh, this person will be better used for food. Because that's what we well, do to animals at the moment. We think, yeah, yeah this cow would be better used on my dinner plate. Yes, but, well, that's because animals um, ha have nutritional value that humans don't. Okay, I'm not well, suggesting well, that well, humans have a nutritional value. value. Yeah, and humans have nutritional value too, right? No, they, well, they, no. as I said, they, yeah, eating yeah. human flesh is bad for you. Uh, no, only, only in large quantities. Your body is why. You can eat quite a few humans without getting sick. What is it about the animal that you value? What's the what is it about uh, animals that is nutritional then? Um, just a uh, just superior <laughs> density of nutrition, uh, density of nutrients, and and the superior avail bioavailability of nutrients and um, and that. Sort okay. Of stuff. Well, humans have got that too, right? So. Well, I don't know. Do they? Yeah. They also have and prions, it, which will lead to your brain going. Mad cow, it's what happened. Okay. For it's certainly like a disease. Okay. So, I mean, in if we create a hypothetical where, you know, they have nutri well, they have nutritional value to us, they um they don't have any extrinsic value to us, um, they can't they don't have the capacity for philosophy, they don't have the capacity to um conceptualize morality, it would be okay to holocaust them for us to consume, right? If they're, humans, that's, that's I grant them, if they're humans, I grant them the I grant them the rights that I extend to all humans, that's regardless of these humans which don't have any of the faculties which yeah. you claim gives us the rights. Yeah, but they're still humans. Okay, so so are you taking the the philosophy and the morals off the table then? We'll go to we'll go to the species next. The the fact that they're human. Do you, do you concede that it's not per se the capacity to philosophize and the capacity to conceptualize morality per se that justifies a moral value? Well, I'm not. I'm not conceding anything. My my point still stands. I mean, well, maybe well, we okay. Well, well, if that's, that's, if that's the case, see eye to eye on this. Okay, if that's the case, then if you don't think, okay, if you do think think those things are of value, then can I, can I just jump in for a second? Yeah. And the hypothetical. Okay. So would it be okay to, you know, Yoda from Star Wars? Of course. Um, let's say he had, he had a retarded brother, uh, um, but Yoda died, and no one knows about this brother. He's one of the last uh, species. Is it okay for me to hold him down? Oh, let's say I, I get him drunk, <laughs> and I take some, I say I take some um, quaaludes from Bill Cosby's stash. And I, I drug him and have my way with with his green with his green bottom. Is that is that okay? I honestly don't know what you're talking about. I mean, this is this has gone into bizarre territory. Why don't we stick to what's actually? In essence, uh, everyone else. I mean, I have no idea what you're talking about. This is just everyone bizarre. else followed that, didn't they? No. Yeah, we're going to crazy you. They well, do, but you were asking me, and I mean, you're talking about Yehuda. I mean. Well, yeah, why yeah, don't we stick to what's not, actually not, being discussed? Because, no, I mean, we, we are, we, we James. Well, well, no, 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 no. We can come up with... Uh, Jay, we um, are, well, Jay. I'm sorry you feel embarrassed, but I mean... No, no, we, we, can, we, can, we can come up with all sorts of bizarre <laughs> um, articles and extend Jay, Jay. And, and manipulate oh, um, that's why reality to such a point where it becomes Jay. completely well, well, meaningless. Well, 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 why don't we stick to the actual reality? Hang on a second. Hang on, Jay, Jay. 
with the reason we um, create hypotheticals, no matter how like bizarre and outlandish they are, right? We do that to point out the logical extensions of your own uh, moral system, right? That, that's why we can have uh, hypotheticals. That's why we bring them up in philosophy, right? Yes, I, I, I understand yeah. what a hypothetical is, but yeah. you're stretching. But what we're, what, what we're trying to get to, what we're trying to get to, G, is what gives a human personhood. Well, we give them personhood. We, you no, know, it's human is given it. personhood by something, and it's not just saying, oh, we're a species. Well, we, we give them. We, we decide. Can you, you can imagine another species, species? And can you imagine another species which we would give the same rights to as humans? Can you imagine a well, hypothetical species? Maybe they're aliens, maybe they're, I don't know, we discover something new about dolphins and they turn out to be a bit smarter than what we think, and we think, you know what, we're going to give them personhood. Well, yeah, okay. I can imagine that there are other sentient species in the universe. I mean, okay, great. Right. I mean, but we morals come from us. We, so, we create them. So because so those sentient species, I am assuming, because we create them with the same personhood as humans, that you would not feel comfortable with farming the food. Sorry, so say that again. I didn't quite hear you. These other sentient species, which you just accepted could exist. I'm assuming that you would no, not no, no, be comfortable no, no, no. The I, I accept. I, can, I, I accept that I can conceive that that's. Um, that I can. I can. I can accept okay, that. Well, well, I can well, say that they could exist. Hypothetical scenario: You have another species which has personhood. Would you? Right. Would you feel comfortable farming them for food? Um, I, I don't know because I'm not in that situation. I don't know where the person well, would come from. If, if you're not willing to think in the abstracts, we're not going to be able to have a debate. Well, we're having a discussion, and you're coming up with increasingly thoughts. It's inevitably going into the debate, though. This is, uh, guys, I've had a lot of experience with these kind of discussions. They always never to really go to the debate, which is what we're having now. Um, the the thing is, when we're having a debate about veganism or any kind of debate, it's important to go like point by point rather than just like going. Otherwise, it just descends into chaos unless we take one point off the table at a time. I know we, we want it, like we're going we're going to species now. But we didn't really get the um, the viewpoint from G about the the f philosophy and the morals thing, whether he would, um, whether he actually in fact values them over and above anything else um, before we go to the species argument. So I think it's important well, I, to, to to get that point off the table first, and then we can go to this to the species argument. Well, why does it matter that I whether I value? one particular aspect over another i mean it's not a new, this isn't a numerical exercise it's not life doesn't work that way it's not there's not a, a, a rating of, of of factors i mean you may you may personally value those things in in people uh, or, or whatever that's well, fine. What, what, what do i value well you may you may value for having a, a philosophical capacity i don't know i'm not that's not pejorative i'm just saying I, but well, I, I do, I I, I do value it but i don't value it to the point where i would deny um, other people or animals uh, the right to life if they don't have it. But it's not just about that. That's what I'm saying. There's various factors that go into it, either go mm -hmm. into um, the decision to eat meat. It's yeah. not simply one thing. And you're focusing on one thing as being a little bit yeah. disingenuous. No, no, no. But I'm saying if we take them point by point and we go through each point and we discover that those actual points don't grant um, the the animal or the human moral value, point by point, then you couldn't say that, okay, if you add them all up together, that the, the, the sum is going to be greater than, it's, it's not It's not going to add up to, it's just going to be like different, it's going to be cumulatively, like, it's not going to mean anything. Because well, I think point by point, they're not going to, like if you just add up a, the sum total of some shit arguments that don't justify um, murdering, then how can you say like cumulatively all together, if you add them all together, that that is going to somehow justify murder? Um, well, it's not murder, that would be illegal. Um, okay, slaughter then. Um, well, yeah, these terms... Slaughtering are needlessly. Uh, well, again, you define it as needless, I don't. I need to eat, so therefore there is a need. Okay. Um, <laughs> if the question you, comes okay. down to... I think the problem is the question is this is however um you, however fraught the hypothetical gets the question is always going to be the same it, it, when it comes to humans do you 
who think it's okay to kill humans. I, 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 give, I will give you the same answer every time. I don't think it is, and I've given the reason why. Mm -hmm. What's the um, reason why? Well, it's what, it's what I said. It's that I, I, extend the, I extend the rights to the, to the individual human on the basis of uh, the human as a, as a species, not on the basis of um, how mm -hmm. that individual human may be limited. So what, okay, so you grant them, okay, so, okay, so if you, so you value the species over and above their capacity for philosophy and morals, is that right? Well, because, because of the capacity differences, because humans and animals are just that different. Okay, so uh, they're different, it's, it's, they're, well, okay, that, okay that's, that's another thing, difference, difference is another, different. that's another trait that you're adding now. Well, this is the well, we problem. To, I think. Yeah. Well, the, the problem is, is that you're you're trying to fit everything into this name trait argument, and so it's no, just going to go round and round for two hours just, as we just, go through every trait imaginable. Yeah, but what it looks like though is that you're what it looks like because you you want to add different things, you know, like species, um, difference, uh, morality, and philosophy. It's it's it 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 appears to me like you're dodging. Okay, well, you, I don't like if, if you if you can't engage with one thing at a time, it just seems a little bit dodgy. So, well, well, why can't we go through them one by one and take them off the table one by one? Because we'll be here for two hours for a start, and I well, thought we were supposed to be having a reasonable time debate. We've only we we we've been stuck on this for a, for the best part of three uh -huh. quarters of an hour. Uh, my answer is going to remain the same. You're going to say if humans, you know, uh, didn't have this trait or whatever. Um, I mean, I'm going to give you the same answer. If humans didn't have what trait? Or whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm telling is you. It, is it so capacity, it have whatever trait, so it doesn't matter. So if humans didn't have fun, so it wouldn't be humans. What? I was saying it, it matters what traits. It matters what is the dividing line between humans and animals. I'm not telling you the capacity, the difference in capacity between humans and animals. It so encompasses it's... many factors. Okay. I mean, I don't, I don't know why we have to go through every single one of them. I mean, may, maybe we should move on to a different aspect because I don't mm. think we're going to get anywhere here. No, because that's just trying to dodge again, right? You, you said that you've what you value. First of all, you said that what you value is philosophy and morality. But then when we no, go that's, to that's, well, that's well, well, an well, example well, of the well, difference between well, yeah, that's, that that's that one like, example. Okay, when we go, when we go to high, yeah. So when we go to an example where um those things uh well when human beings don't have that capacity and it, it would justify human holocaust based on the fact that they don't have that capacity you need to concede on that point or yeah you need to concede on that point like do they have do is it important is, is philosophy and morality important is it the thing that you value the most or not it, it's not it's not philosophy it's not philosophy per se it's the capacity the philosophy yeah, okay, is an yeah, example of the things that humans can do that's, yeah, that's so what the, i'm saying the capacity it's, it's to do philosophize yes the difference the difference between the um, limits of, of whatever animal cows i mean it's essentially going to be the same thing cow sheep pig cow pig chicken i mean that's what i eat we don't need to eat every single animal on earth um and, um, and, and and humans, and I have a preference for humans because I'm human. Yeah, but the actual, but like the philosophy and the morality per se, as the thing that grants the sentient being moral value. I don't think you could say that if the uh, if the human being doesn't have that capacity um, to to use philosophy and to uh, conceptualize morality. I don't think you would say, I mean, can correct me if, if, if I'm wrong, that uh, you would uh, accept a holocaust of those human beings. Am I correct? No, I don't think we should, I don't think we should yeah. kill humans to, uh, be, uh, to eat them because we extend the species, can no, we extend no, 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 um, no, no, no. rights to the species or based on, on what the no, species no, no, is no, 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 the question is, do you grant them value based on their capacities to philosophize and their capacity for morality. Do you value this? Do you value retards? Well, I think that 
from what from what I can see, what what G at least this is the way I've interpreted it, yes. is that is that he um, values humans because they are fellow human beings, mm -hmm. and regardless of what they're afflicted with, whether it be some sort of I don't, I don't know either mental or physical sort of condition or whatever that he still holds them in the same regard but but you can but he he doesn't really necessarily regard animals in the same light because um and it's like <clears throat> going back to the point from Callum in the side chat because human beings you know it's sort of almost natural to regard your own species especially if you view them as maybe more maybe even more advanced or whatever it's it's yeah. more natural for for them to essentially in their own heads make a distinction between human beings and other animals, and yeah. then yeah, that, that's no, I the way. That... I, 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 I still that. think yeah. that um, everything he said uh, could lead me to justify raping um, Yoda's retarded brother. But carry on. Well, the thing is, the that's thing ridiculous. Like... Are we not talking about right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, well, that's, that's a funny hypothetical. Right. Let's, let's, but let's, let's get onto animal rape later. I'm sure we'll get into that. Yeah. Oh I God. mean, the, the thing that we need to get off the table, though, first is this capacity for morality and philosophy, right? Because yeah, every time I put that to you, and I, I, I give you the hypothetical where you know, like it. Okay, then now this. Okay, we've got, we've got, we've got a, um, we've got a world where there's there's retards that can't conceptualize morality and philosophy if you had a, if you had a button right where you could press this button and uh, it would holocaust that whole, whole world of retards that can't conceptualize morality or philosophy would you press it yes or no based on the fact that you value philosophy uh, humans that can philosophize and have a capacity for morality would you press that button no okay yeah the reasons I so, so so that would indicate that you don't value philosophy and morality um, in human beings, that's not the thing that you value the most, right? Only so, one of the things, isn't it? Like, like, yeah, yeah, it's one, one of the things. Just, yeah, so, so we just one thing. What do you mean, not value? What, what does that mean? How, how are you rating not value? It's, I, well, I, I can we're, say, saying, we're saying it's not the reason you're not pressing the button. Yeah. But I'm giving you the reason I'm not pressing the button. So, it's another reason then. It's not that isn't the reason you're pressing the button, it's something else. I've, I've told you the reason. I, I don't. I don't know how else to say this. Okay, so can we take the morality and the philosophy off the table then, and go to something else? We could go to the species argument next. Go to the <sighs> well, whatever. I mean, this is getting silly because you're just going to go round and round and round and round and round. The reason I'm not pressing let's the button is, is yeah, exactly as I told you. It's because they are humans, and I grant humans. Okay. Um, the, the, you know, as a whatever. I so, so, so you so you value um, the fact that they're humans over and above the fact that they can philosophize and have capacity for morality, right? I, I I don't know how to keep saying what I'm saying. I mean, you're well, separating well, aspects of, of you're you're trying to well, it's, separate it's, it's traits. A yes, it's a yes or no question. You're trying to separate traits to get the answers that you want. I think no, to no, fit this argument. I'm just trying to see what you value. Unfortunately, you can't separate traits. It doesn't work that way. And okay. hypotheticals are all well and good, but when they don't represent any semblance of reality. I don't think they have any value and it's not going to serve any productive discussion to focus on on what ultimately becomes a gotcha question. I well, just don't grant this. I'm so I think we should move on. We're now no, 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 because the reason we, like I said before, the reason that we use hypotheticals is to see what the logical extensions of your own uh, moral system is. That's why we use them in philosophy. That's why it is important. And you said that you you do um, value consistency within your own moral system. So I'm just trying to see whether you are consistent in your own moral system, right? So the reason why I wanted to ask, you know, about the morality and the philosophy um, is that I wanted to see whether that is in, in fact the thing that you value the most, right, in human beings. And by the sounds of th things, it um it that is not the thing that you value the most you wouldn't um you it sounds like it, it, it's, the most. It, 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 there's no there's no there's no gradient there's no there's no because i'm trying to see 10 of things i'm trying it's, to it's, i'm trying to how life is I i'm trying to see how, i'm trying to see how low you've cast the net i'm trying to see what's why? the lowest why this isn't even the most important uh, aspect of why i eat me we haven't even got to that yet 
this doesn't convince me or compel me of anything. We're still stuck on this. Well, because it doesn't, it's not, it's not. That I, I, it's, hang, on, you can't, hang on, you can't accept the fact that I am arguing that humans as a species have a capacity that animals don't, and that is what separates us. And that difference and the, and the limit that, um, uh, that, that difference is what, um, is what makes me think that animals have, uh, you know, that I have no problem eating animals morally. There's no, I don't okay. have that moral issue. You do, fair enough. That's okay, fine. Okay, that's fine. So you you grant um, <laughs> you grant uh, sentient beings value, moral value, based on the fact that they have the capacity for morality and uh, philosophy, right? Uh, well, that was one. Of, that was one of the reasons why you grant them value. It's the capacity that allows them to do things. So it's the capacity that humans have that is mm -hmm. far in excess of what animals can do. Animal, a, a, a sheep in a field doesn't even know what a field is. It has absolutely mm -hmm. no conception. It can't. Yeah. It, you yeah. can't yeah. argue that, that its experience. That if, you, if you, for example, you had you kept a human idea. being. If, if, for example, you kept a human being as a slave. One of the reasons that's obnoxious is because that human understands what it's what it's happening to and understands that mm -hmm. its freedom is limited and it can't yeah. express itself. A yeah. sheep living in a field doing yeah. what sheep naturally do, just eating the grass, chewing the mm -hmm. cud, um, lying down, having having lambs, whatever, has absolutely no capacity to understand. Yeah. So yeah. It, it, it cannot know. There is no conception of any uh, any semblance so of being a that a sheep or a cow. Let me, let For me, let me that just, doesn't matter. Let me just oh, paraphrase wait, wait. this moment. Then. So you think that a sheep or a cow has no conception that they are trapped in a field, and therefore, because they have no conception of it, and that means that they uh, that is is okay to treat them separately enough to justify farming and killing them. Yes, I think it, I think that's that that that's acceptable. Okay. But the thing is, I mean, you're saying that they don't have the capacity to understand, and that's what um, that's what makes it justifiable to kill them, right? That's what you're saying. That's what the to kill and eat them. Yeah. Well, yeah. To, to well, to just to kill them in the first place, because no, I mean, I I, I think to that kill you know and eat them. that's the that's the difference. No, no, I said no, to, earlier. To, no, to, I don't to, to, to kill, like I, I don't, I don't think that eating an animal is necessarily unethical because I, if I don't have any pro any ethical problem with killing, uh, sorry, I don't have any ethical problem with eating roadkill because I, it was an accident, right? But the thing is, if you're saying that um, animals, um, they don't understand, and that's the reason why it's okay to kill them then you have to accept i mean you accept that there are some humans that don't that don't understand right so by your own logic that would mean that it's okay to holocaust human beings that don't have the capacity to understand so do I, you I do you the same thing do you concede that point do you concede that it's okay to holocaust um it's okay to holocaust uh like let's say that's that there is a universe box with in an infinite amount of people that don't have the capacity to understand by your own logic it's okay to holocaust that universe box of humans that don't have the capacity to understand yes or no no because they're humans and I give okay reason why. okay so that would indicate okay it's not it's not the capacity to understand that's the most valuable thing to you it's it's a species right so can we can we say that? Can, well, you I can don't see think you're it. listening. I don't think. Well, no, I think no, we should. No, I am listening. listening. I think but you're not. You keep right. trying to chop this up into aspects, and you're missing the point. At what point well, am no, I missing? I, I, look, if you if you don't chop things up into uh, into various different components and analyze them individually, then you're going to make leaps of logic which are illogical and should not follow. I amazing. understand that this doesn't fit your argument, but that no, I'm no, focusing on well, well, You can't just say that your conclusion does not fit my argument. We're saying, let's break it up into the different components, analyse those components individually, then see if they um, fit together logically, and then we can tell if your argument is strong or not. Because it's not, you, I don't think you can chop this up into capacity. Well, into, then, if you don't think you can chop it up, then you don't know what your argument is. Well, no, well, that's not strictly, that. that's not actually strictly true. Uh, I think that what, like, to and and to be fair to, to G, his 
essentially um his argument overall has a variety of factors involved in it um it's obviously not one particular thing and also like i said and i keep going back to this it's how somebody regards humans in comparison with animals there is there can be no doubt that there are plenty of people okay. who would regard human beings in a more important context uh, as in they would they would not regard animals as for example as advanced as this as that and and they would regard humans in a completely different light and that that's essentially what what this entire thing appears to keep going back to okay so, well, yeah sorry go on yeah go no I, I i was gonna say so it comes down to really somebody's concept of human beings versus animals you know i think it's pretty and people in the side chat had, had mentioned it previously like that they do place more importance on human life than on yeah. The vast array of I animal think, life. I don't think uh, I'm myself for banana as I mean that humans are not more important than animals. Yeah, yeah, you, like me, I think me and Mevan and um, Vohan agreed that humans have more uh, value than animals. We're we're not disagreeing with that. Um, so if you're saying that we're saying that we don't over that we're saying that we are all equal, we're not saying that. That's a that's a kind of a straw man. Well, well, no, 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 I don't mean it as a straw man. What I'm saying is that to me is how I perceived, correct me if I'm wrong, G, but that is basically or certainly a large part of what you were trying to put across. Like, because somebody is human, for example, in the way that our society works and the importance that we would place in human beings, that you would essentially, um, you know, like you would not regard it the same way as, for example, slaughtering a sheep for X amount of people to eat. Okay, but then we have to ask why why are humans more valuable? I mean, my answer would be sentience. The ability to we have uh, more sentience. I just wanna get I just wanna get off the table when you say you know, like if if you um if you're saying that we don't have to chop up the argument into its um separate uh, fragments or components like we're trying to do, then it's okay not to chop up um the different components or factors in the human context so for instance you know okay there's a murder trial okay and the you're 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 telling the judge your evidence and you're saying judge i can't chop up the arguments i can't you know I don't, i'm not I, I don't need to chop up the components of the argument why i think i feel like it was justified to uh to kill that person i killed it's just that you know i just feel that it's it's justified because of the all the components added together, even though they are individually shit arguments. I mean, I mean, I mean, they may well be depending on who yeah. who makes the judgment. Um, um, you know, they might be shit yeah. shit arguments to one person and not to another. So, but but what I'm saying is, well, these... well hang on, hang on, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no wait, okay. wait, 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 yeah, come on, yeah, come on. No, I, I, I say if you if you're going in a murder trial and you're saying, um, judge. The argument that I did not kill this person is so complicated that I could not possibly tell you, and I could not possibly break it up into the various components. I'm not. I, I'm not saying you can't break it up. What I'm saying you is, you think you should though, or even that we, or even that is the argument that I did not kill this person is so self-evident that I should don't that it's it's wrong for me to even try, or that it, I shouldn't have to do it. You know, that's just not right. Uh, right, but but whether it is or whether it is like somebody else might not place the same amount of right or wrong on it as well, you is what I'm saying. Well, wait, let's keep let's keep the analogy tight though. You go to the judge for your kill, and when in a murder trial, and you're saying I was justified in killing that human being because I don't need to justify, I don't need to like go through all the different components, and <laughs> I don't need to go through all the different components and say why, um, as a collective. I don't need to uh, as I don't need to uh, individually point out why all those arguments are shit. I just need to say, as a collective, it makes it justified. No, no, that, so that's not that, that's not at all what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is, inevitably, but, there are multiple factors involved, and trying to make it black and white when there's clearly a vast grey area is ludicrous. No, 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 no. That is what you're saying, though. Yeah. Not, not, not really. It's just like, like to uh, to try and break something down that is clearly going to be a bit of a, a soup, if you want, of lots of different things, well, and also not to mention the fact that should, people's perception of things alters person to person. Should you do that in a murder trial? Then 
Uh, well, that's the reason why we have juries. They sift through every single piece of evidence and they yeah. listen to testimony and they listen to legal representation and there are mitigating factors according on uh, to okay. a case-by-case -case basis. Uh, 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 oh, yeah. yeah, okay, okay. So if you had a murder trial where um, you're saying it was justified to kill that person based on um, all these individual things to do with that human being that made it justified, right? Mm -hmm. a adding cumulatively together and that... Um, that collective of traits or reasons why it was justified to kill that human being adds up to a good reason. But if you break the man down individually and individually, they don't add up, they, they're not justifiable reasons. Would you say that, okay, that person should be let off for murder? Well, that would be up to the jury. No, 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 but, no but I'm asking you. Well, do you feel, I, do, I'm do, not do you part feel of that's jury, justified? So I can't answer that. Okay. No, <laughs> I, I don't necessarily uh, uh, think it's justified or not. I'm, what I'm saying is, it, say uh, I. It, like, okay, fine. Let's say for the sake of the argument, um, I was on a jury and it was a second degree murder trial, which means no premeditation. And it was, um, I don't know, a woman who murdered her husband in a fit of rage because she'd been slapped around for 20 years previously. And uh, okay. um, she suddenly snapped, let's say. That's the self-defense. So that, no, well, that, that's not that's that's second degree murder self-defense okay. would be if she was in immediate um, okay. danger of losing her life um second degree murder is murder with without uh, premeditation so they are different but like would that be a mitigating factor in how she was judged in a court of law yes of course it would so so by that very nature what i'm saying is all of these factors matter you can't break it down and then go oh it's either this or it's this that's just not the way it works so is, is in the animal, well, you need to keep the analogy tight so is that the case in the animal context is it secondary murder because um if we didn't if we didn't murder them then it would cause us some kind of um it, it would it would cause us you know some kind of uh bad things to happen to us if we didn't murder them well i mean i don't uh, to keep the magic tight um no pro probably not i mean okay. i think bad things could happen to us regardless whether we murder animals or not okay so we we can just cut disregard that then it's not really keeping it tight the analogy there yes okay yeah. but but yeah. but what what i'm trying to say to um like when it comes to g the the way that i was interpreting what he was saying was different to the way that you guys were Mm -hmm. So I think that's where, where this whole thing comes from. We are interpreting it differently to how you guys are. Um, and I mean, and, and actually, like, if we keep going around in circles, but, so what you're saying is that you guys, um, you think that, for example, um, I don't know, say mass murder of humans is the same as um, killing sheep for, for land no, steaks. No, no. That was essentially yeah. the same thing. And it's basic it's basically what is what if what is true of animals that if was true of humans would make it acceptable to make humans into hamburgers? I mean that's the question. So what, um, what, yes, what, why would one thing? Why would that oh, come down to things. one? Thing? Whatever you want to do, you can you can add you okay. can add as many as you want. You but we have, you have to different. tell us what they are. You can't say, oh, well, Why? there's numerous, numerous. I mean, you're asserting that there are there's moral value. You haven't you haven't determined that. You've asserted it. That's the basis of this argument. And you've you know, asserted it's, it's, it's human rights. As, it's the same as like, the argument whether you believe in God or not. You say, well, I can't point to any one individual thing, but the totality of God exists is self-evident. Mm. It just doesn't make sense. Yeah, you, 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 you've asserted that you've asked me this argument. You've pursued this for almost an hour, um, and you've you've not asserted. You've not explained why this moral value, how this moral value exists. And you've also agreed that there's different moral value of humans. And you, no, no, no. You've no, no, no. you, you agreed. Just, you, 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 you've as agreed as that as there's as differences in, in between animals and humans. So I don't really understand what the point of all this is. It's, it just feels like a gotcha question. No, no, it's it's, it's basically a consistency test. So if you're, if well, why if, is that important? Well, because you value consistency. consistency. You valued it earlier. That was one of the first things we countered in the conversation. I, I, like, I, oh, I yeah. said that it's not always important. I said that I, you asked me that. I said um, it's. Uh, no, it's we, we, we did agree that consistency was important. 
Let, let me let me point out why consistency is important, right? If you don't value consistency in a moral system, which you said in the beginning, G, was um, you value that because there are right and wrong answers to moral questions, right? So if you don't value consistency in your own moral system, then by that logic, everything that you say that is um, illogical, it would just mean that you could just literally justify anything within your moral system. That's why consistency is important, because otherwise everything that you say, you would just it would just explode. I don't think that follows. And I didn't say well, that. I, well, I, I, if you, said, I said, yeah, you, I said that I, th I hang on. I said that, that I, there are things I think are wrong and there are things I think are right. And that I yeah. judge it on the basis of uh, on a case by case basis on the, on the basis of proposition. I agree that consistency in a broad sense is uh, Im important, but I didn't say that it's the be all and end all. Okay. I think you're making it out to be more important because I feel that you're trying to, to uh, you, you you need to shoehorn answers I give you into this this argument. I so don't think this is getting anywhere. So do you do you value consistency in a moral system or not? Well, how how do I answer that? I mean, is that is well, there is there a grade I can give you? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know how. Well, if it's to do with morality, if it's to do with morality, then it is quite important. It well, I, I yes or no answer. I'm asking, do you vote yes, no yes? It is either yes or no in these certain cases. In these certain cases, and I would I just say, say, broadly yeah. speaking, well, no, it, I would say you, either, you value consistency overall, and if you say there are some cases where I'm not sure how much I value consistency, then there is has to be fundamentally a consistent set of rules for you to determine which cases you do or do not. Everything. I think that there are times when you can be inconsistent, and it's not a problem. I mean, I I would I don't, actually I don't argue that at all. With the with the consistency argument, right? I would personally argue uh, that everybody is inconsistent. Do you actually suggest so that every single person um, <clears throat> and uh, every flawed human being um, is always consistent is ludicrous? Of course they are. In, 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 we we, we, in, in a moral context, not just like you know, in a in a okay, uh, do I value uh, chocolate ice cream over vanilla ice cream? That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about morality, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so um, but, yeah. But, I mean, of course, shoulda, woulda, coulda, of course. But yeah. is, is it realistic to suggest that people are going to do it? No. You might as well face reality. Like, well, the, the, the way I see it is okay. you might as well face reality. And, okay, try not to be a horrendous human being and try to be as consistent as you can. But you know what? If you're not the entire time, that's not really anything other than just being human. Yeah, but the thing is, we're talking about principles, we're not talking about pragmatics, what actually happens in reality. We're talking about whether we should do things or not. Exactly. Yes, there's, it, a, yeah, there's a good principle argument, it's, it's not a pragmatic yes, argument. It's a quote by Edmund Burke that says, no one made a greater mistake than he who did nothing because he could only do little. We're saying yes, let's do the little. We're going to come out with the philosophical. But, but, but what, I'm, uh, what I'm also saying is, it's it's a mix of both isn't it of course you should yes of course and, yeah. and you try and be should, roughly yeah. as good as you can but the reality is you aren't and so you have to accept it okay so we can we, we apply that to human context then oh in reality you know we can't actually be that moral as a human being so therefore well, you know it's just can't actually you know in reality it's not going to happen so no depends. what i'm saying is humans are going to make moral mistakes it's just you know yeah, you humans, humans going to make moral mistakes so it's okay to be racist I mean, well, that's not really a moral mistake. That's going out of your way to actually be racist, isn't it? I mean, yeah, but in reality, make, make, making a moral mistake would be like to get absolutely hammered one night and like sleep with your mate's boyfriend, like that. And mm -hmm. I mean, th there is an amount of intent in it, but okay. obviously, if you're impaired, and re I mean, look, it, it, in, in what reality, I'm to say is humans are never ever gonna, uh, you know, there's one thing trying to say that they should do this they should take the more high ground everyone should be absolutely perfect but i'm just saying that it, that no, no, uh, okay. to say we're not to they're, for like, they're probably not going to be so <laughs> in reality it's it's never going to happen that humans are never going to stop raping so therefore you know we can just we should just accept it because in reality, it's never going to happen. Yeah, there are so always going to be. We can't ever be consistent. Yeah, we so therefore it's okay to rape. There are always going to be rapists, and it's there are always going to be always going to be rapists. There's yeah. always going to be rapists, and we should always discourage rape. Well, yeah, we, we should. should always no, no. They should face a court of law. That's the reason why we have yes, the whole bloody yes, legal system, and we, should, and we yeah. should discourage it. 
Well, of course. Well, I mean, yeah. obviously, like you're, you're not going to go out and openly encourage. This is a ludicrous argument because oh, I'm not no, saying not. You, you I'm going out of my way. To, you're not look, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying that you know, trying to take the moral high ground is one thing, but the reality of what you're faced with is quite yeah. another. So you can, yes, you can discourage something. It doesn't mean it's not going to happen. Is is. Yeah, and that's yep. the same with that's the case with rape, right? So we're never going to um, get rid of all rape and all the rapists. So by your own logic, you're saying that because we can't, um, we're never going to uh, be able to create a world where um, we can't get rid of all um, evil. Okay, exactly. sorry. Of, of all evil or of all yeah. flaws or of yeah. all yeah, of course. Yeah. And and we're not going to be able to get rid of that. So therefore, it's your by your own logic, you're saying. Um, pragmatically, we're never going to be able to do that. So therefore, uh, is we should just carry on. We should, it's okay to do it. Yeah, put it in our morals. Well, I have never said it. It's, 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 it's okay it's to okay do to it. It's okay to rape because people rape sometimes. All right, this is ludicrous because you are completely. <laughs> since when have I turned around and no, said? you've not said. I that, would openly that's encourage that's people to go out and no, commit, like you know. No, that's, you don't. This you're not understanding. Angels, you're not understanding. It basically, this is what we're talking about with consistency. If you're saying it's, well, that's why. It, Having consistency in your moral framework is important. Because if you yeah. and if you if your argument say, well, people aren't always consistent. No, they aren't. Yeah, so, so but, saying, but you want your moral system. You want your moral framework, your moral system to be consistent. So, so you want it to be consistent? Yes, but uh, I'm tr I'm trying to argue that it isn't. Yes, so that's, that's, the, that's, the, that is, that's what go, that's what's going on in reality. We're, this is a yeah. principled argument. We're saying oh, I'm not, this I'm is not... what we should do, not what is is actually happening. Well, you can go around and say should the whole time. I mean, that that's that's well, yeah. That's how, that's how we should do things. That's how we dictate morality, right? It's to say that we that's like normative ethics. We Thou shalt not kill and all that. Yes, of course. Yeah. But that's so that. But that's just like a, a given. But well, what I'm saying is, you look at it with that's such so in such a reductionist view is like it's not. not oh, should we have a reductionist view about rape? No, uh, let, let's get back onto veganism. This is ludicrous. Well, no, 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 but should we have a reductionist, a reductionist view about rape or not? What, what, what are you, look. Let's just stick to veganism because this is. Yeah, that's all about. No, no, it, it, it is actually connected to veganism. <laughs> no, no, it's not because what you're trying to do now, you, you've been trying to do this for an hour. Is this is a gotcha. We oh. haven't had it. No, 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 that's what's happening, and this is silly because we've been discussing now for over. An hour, about an hour and a half, and we're still yeah. on this one point because I, I, you I'm frankly, I'm frankly a lady, we found out the point. That's fine, let's move on. I'm, well, I'm frankly amazed that we fell down at the point of um, logical, that we shouldn't have logical consistency. I'm, I'm amazed that's where can, we got to. Right, should, that's what, fine. What, what's what we shouldn't have logical? I know what I'm trying to say is that we inevitably there is never going to be 100% consistency. Should we try and aim for it and be the best people we can? Yeah, sure. Okay, so when we're trying to aim for it, that means when we come up with our abstract scenarios, we, we try and make moral judgments in a logically consistent way and then apply it to our general lives. We will try to. Yes. Okay, so that's that's that done. Right. So we can all agree on that, right? Okay. So then we were having an argument about veganism and we're saying what we needed to do was break down why it is that we don't eat humans. So then we can discover what the dividing line is in terms of moral principles between them. So well, I don't eat humans and I don't eat animals. I think that's nice and logically consistent. Well, it's kind of meaningless. I mean, there's many reasons we don't eat animals. Uh, we don't eat humans. I've given you. I've given you two. And then when we and then when we said if we got rid of those two reasons, would you eat a human? You said no. So there's more reasons that mean there's more reasons. No, we because it's, that it's, that's not reality. You 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 you're stretching. When you come up with these hypotheticals that yeah. stretch reality to become something that it completely isn't, Ooh. it has but no bearing yeah. on reality. It's Jake. pointless. But we what use that? we use hypotheticals, like I said before, to point out the logical extensions of your own moral system. Which means That's nothing when you're philosophy. using hypotheticals that have no bearing on reality. Matter. You it can't say that, that, you, that those those acts uh, those qualities exist. You doesn't can't matter. say that we don't eat humans because it, uh, because. Uh, for other re for, uh, for mm -hmm. at least two reasons that it's unhealthy to do so uh, and because it's disrupted to society that's ridiculous 
Yep, but you but the logical the logical extension of your own moral system means that you could justify a Holocaust of retards because they don't have the capacity for well being. Uh, sorry, the capacity for philosophy. And you're using the word retard either. Uh, that's ridiculous. It doesn't matter. It doesn't. It really does not matter. No? The logical. Oh, so um, we're not consistent then in our worldviews. No, the logical conclusion of your um, moral system is that it's okay to Holocaust human beings because they don't have the capacity for for um, philosophy and morality. That's logical. That's your interpretation. I'm no, 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 happy no, no. Yeah, yeah. So that's a logical extension of your worldview, right? I'm happy for you to think that. Okay. Well, I okay. mean, I don't think that that was really what. At least I, like I said, I think i didn't i certainly didn't it, um take that as the only reason why he would value human life mm -hmm. more so but, than animal life yeah but the thing is when he says that okay he wouldn't um advocate for the holocaust of those um humans uh, the, with the uh i'm sorry i i just want to say retards but that's just because i'm just lazy i can't think about what to call them uh you know people don't agree that people, yeah, yeah, human beings that have um, less capacity. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I'd, mentally I'd, 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 disabled. Mentally disabled. Thank you. Or is, or is that so, offensive now? <laughs> so, I don't know. Basically, some, what, what you're saying yeah. is somebody with either learning difficulties or some yeah. form of condition that would yeah. impede their thought. Yeah. So his logical position, his um, his logical position, extension of his logical position, uh, his uh, moral system would advocate. Um, it would be fine with pressing a button. Um, if it was like a button that, that would actually holocaust those human beings on a in an actual world or a universe where it was just those retards that don't have the capacity for philosophy and morality, his biological extension, um, his moral system would be it would be fine to holocaust those human beings. So what? So, so your your only point is that that because he personally would value. Sorry if I'm speaking for you, G. And this is just how I perceived it when you were speaking. Um, so, so what you're saying is that because he does not view killing animals in order to eat them to the same level as um, murdering a bunch of other human beings, mm -hmm. that, that that is inconsistent. Is is, yeah. is what you're trying to say? It's yeah, because, because without because, providing a good reason, and we're just trying yeah. to get to what that reason is. Yeah, and it would indicate that because he because he wouldn't advocate for the, uh, a holocaust of those human beings that the philosophy the capacity for philosophy to, to philosophize and the capacity to um, conceptualize morality isn't the thing that he values. It's something else over and above that. And he he wants Jeez. to go to species next. We need to get the morality and the um, off the table because oh, oh. he doesn't actually you're value not, that the not, most. You, you've just because not, he would not listen. You've just not listened. I don't know what else to say. I really don't. And so, you've accepted the fact that there are differences. Well, so, Cameron, there are, go on. So, all those, all those humans synonymous with animals, is that what everyone trying to suggest to you? I think, I think what it is is that if there is a moral, con like the whole concept is, is if there is like some a moral consistency, this is what I think, where I think we're going wrong. When he said um, the sort of philosophy and conceptual sort of argument, he wasn't only saying that. It's not the only reason why he values human life above all else. I think, am I right in saying, G, that you value human life above all else because they are fellow human beings and essentially you do view human beings in, in the sense of, in your mind, in your view, being more important than essentially animals that you that you view as sort of not having as conceptual like as much concept for example as humans um i'm not sure that that's specifically i think that's probably part of it i think that i mean i won't i won't deny that but the main reason is that i think that you, the animals don't have the moral value i don't grant them the moral worth enough to choose not to cook and kill them and eat them or whatever however right. you want to okay. phrase it okay so we've got mm. to the bottom of that then that that's a perfectly acceptable like answer well is not it? not granted the moral worth but there needs to be a good reason why right because you'd have to have a good reason why in the human context right well, i've given reasons so, you don't agree with them that's, in the that's time, what you said is they're human something might yes but something might link so, in uh, that was mentioned in the side chat earlier if you use a moral argument, you say, well, um, humans arguably are, you know, some people say, oh, you know, humans are omnivores, right? Crows are also omnivores. Um, if it's immoral for a human to be an omnivore, is it also immoral for a crow to be an omnivore? Yes. 
so they are genuinely aware that they are committing this immoral act they're not necessarily aware that they're committing it immorally but we can objectively look at them and say it would be better if they were not well, that's not but, the same but, but you, so, so you would argue the same the same sort of immorality to a crow as you would to a, to a human being. Pretty much. Yeah, that makes we, no sense. We can't. You, actually, we can't. Actually, anyway. uh, hang on a second. We can't actually make crows change. There's nothing we can do to change them. To like, we can't make them drive to the supermarket and buy plant based products. It's not. That's never going to happen. Yeah, I'm not, not going to convince a crow to go yeah. on a crazy diet. <laughs> well, it's you never know. Better. You are very persuasive. Well, thank you. But, well, I don't know. Um, you can, we can train animals, so I don't know what that, whether that argument holds. But at the same time, if, I don't know why you would say I, that. It, if I had a pet crow, maybe I would be able to. Well, but, you can't. You can't really like judge a fucking animal for doing like what an animal does. It, it doesn't really think about. So they are not the same way. concept, like. Uh, well, no, no. The, the act that, that they is. are committing is, is is immoral, in my opinion, as well. But they just don't know any better. It's like. Well, that's your opinion. Why should no, I care about that? Is, no, let me finish. Can better, and we know for sure that they can. Let me let, let me finish. Yeah. So, yeah. so if you had like a mentally disabled person, um, and he went around raping people. Would you say, oh, well, he doesn't know any better. It can't be immoral. No, you'd say, oh, yeah, it's immoral, but he doesn't know any better, wouldn't you? Well, there's various reasons why he would intervene in that situation, not least of all because no, no, as a human being... No, no, we're not talking about intervening. We're talking about whether it's moral or not. That was the question. Well, that follows. What do you mean? Well, what was... <laughs> That's just bizarre. That was the question. Oh, my God. You can't even get basic analogies. It's ridiculous. No. Well, then don't ask me questions, my man. Go back to the side chat where you've been trolling, if that's what you want to do. Trolling. Seriously. Yeah, well, right. Do you want me to exp I'll explain the analogy to you? Right. So you mentioned crows. Can we judge crows? Yeah. No, it was somebody else had mentioned that in the side chat earlier on. So that's why I just brought it up. Yeah. So that that's what I was talking about. Yeah. Um. Everyone else got that, didn't they? So, so, Banana. so you were saying you so. Yes. Yeah, so you're saying with the moral argument, that's exactly it. It's still immoral regardless what the animal and or human is yes. yeah because in the human context we can choose right what we want to eat and we can survive perfectly fine on plant-based products and now mm. if you have the choice between eating um an omnivorous diet or a plant-based diet um we have the choice to in a western society we can choose to um pick up plant-based products in the supermarket it just it requires really no more effort picking up those plant-based products than the animal products. So we're just asking you what um, what would justify um, picking up the plant-based, uh, sorry, the picking up the animal-based products where we don't need to, what trait would justify that treatment, what would justify the difference in treatment between the animal and the human context? Well, um, I, I think that actually, despite what you guys have said, I think Dee did highlight a couple. Mm -hmm. But we've got some extra stuff in the side chat too. I know that you don't like that we want to mm -hmm. do it bit by as in issue by by issue or whatever. But allegedly, yeah. well, do, do, do you know why we take it issue by issue though? Do, do you understand that now? Or like, to, uh, to have I made that clear? Uh, yeah, or do you need to go? I, no, no, no. I, I I understand why you're trying to break it down, but and I. What and why is that? Why is that? Because that's important. I think that's important to the argument. Well, right? I I think that it's simplifying something which has multiple, but it's essentially multifactorial. It's Nobody analyzing can... it. It's not. It's not necessary. Yeah, to look at any. Oh, hang on, let, let her finish. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, let her finish. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. I think. I think that when G br uh, brought up, for example, uh, that one of his issues was the philosophical, conceptual sort of argument. That is one reason. The other one is, mm -hmm. is of course, um, in fact, you guys spelt it back almost. You said, well, a crow doesn't know any better. And so so by uh, saying that, that's sort of confirming what G said. He, well, he's, like, he's like, because the ability to actually know whether something is immoral or not, and their general awareness in a lot of animals is inferior to that of human beings. Do, do, do humans know better, though? Well... Not all of them, I suppose, but but the vast majority, yeah. Okay, the the ones that have um, uh, moral agency, though, do they know better than a crow? Um, from what from what we understand scientifically, I suppose, yeah, like biologically, yeah. But do do you, do you agree that they 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 can conceptualize morality, and they, yes. they should know better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I course, do believe that morality so alters according to the human you're talking to. 
I know people. Well, yeah, yeah, but we're talking about okay in our in your morality, um, angels, and in G's morality. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah so in in your own in your own morality so your morality and Jesus morality if you think uh, that humans have moral uh, humans um can conceptualize moral um they have moral agency right and they should mm -hmm. be able to say what is right and what is wrong right mm -hmm. uh, yeah so um yes, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 i mean you know in yeah. in their view yeah yeah and 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 we should have a system where um that there are um, right and wrong answers to um, moral questions. Like in, in for instance, in a, in a murder trial where um, you have to have a justification for killing someone um, to be able to justify the murder, right? Um, to, to, well, well, yes. Yeah. Um, is it specifically, I mean, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. And then to decide whether it's needless or not, right? I, it's a it's a massive degree of mitigating factors, and yeah, it's a case course. by case basis. So of yeah, of course, of course. But there there is there are things that would mitigate the murder, like um, self defence, like what you said, like a second second degree murder. There are lots of different things like that that would mitigate the murder, right? Or would at least add different factors to be considered yeah. into it. Yeah, of course, of course, and I agree. I agree with that. But in the context of um, uh, killing animals for food where you can have uh, plant-based products and you can survive on them you don't need to eat the animal corpses um is that mitigated it, if you if you like analogize that with the murder case but but is that actually um like are for example um certain meat products literally richer for example in health benefits like a lot richer in health benefits uh, well, and, well maybe well, I mean, mate, what, what, what if that's one of the factors that? Uh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, of course. So, 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 if that's the case, then tell me what is what are those uh, factors? Well, I mean, the, this is the entire thing. I do yeah. know that obviously, meat naturally, depending on the meat, um, and depending on whether it's white meat, fish, or whatever, uh -huh. does have varying degrees of whether it be calorie or protein content or uh -huh. you know fat content. I do understand. I mean, I'm forgive me because i'm really not well versed when it no no it's to, fine like, it's fine it's to, fine um to you know nutrition <laughs> but um but uh, i do understand that obviously there have been bad uh links towards certain meats as well like too much mm. red meat etc and um also being linked with heart disease and um whatever else it is something to do with um uh, sort of bowel cancer or something allegedly uh -huh. because it, it stays in the gut you know th things like that so I do understand that there's downsides to it but I also do know that um that may play a big part in whether somebody eats it or not yeah of course yeah so so I think that if they combine that with say what what G was trying to say earlier along with um sort of other factors maybe I don't know um I mean I, I know this sounds ludicrous right and it should not be this um sort of unimportant in some ways but you know there are some people who are just for example really fussy eaters mm -hmm. and they just will not eat anything else unless it's like a particular dish what if that is like partially or at least largely meat-based products and, and things like that okay. it may sound like a like a ridiculous like reason but there mm -hmm. are people like that you know yeah so the, okay there's two things there obviously there's the um argument that you say you know like the calorie and the protein and the fat content of meat you, um could justify the eating of it right but then um, you could say that about you could say that oh go on yeah go on you want yeah, to no no I, I wanted to say yeah um and indeed i suppose in the same vein uh other high protein animal related products uh -huh. such as eggs or uh -huh. you know dairy products for example yeah. although right. i know that there's vegan cheese now mm -hmm. yeah um, there is yeah so, um, I mean, you could go down that route, you could go into the nutritional argument, we can go into that and I can introduce studies to you. Um, I mean, if if you want to justify um, eating flesh of an animal and their animal secretions because of the protein, the, because of the fat and because of the calorie content, the calorie density, sorry, I think you mentioned, yeah. of those products. Or like par they, partially, I'm, I'm not saying a diet filled with meat, you know, some people choose to do that, but. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah, gonna, I'm, gonna, um, then, I'm just gonna quickly head off, but it's been good talking to you all and uh, enjoy uh, the debate. Thanks for turning up, Maven. No, 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 that, thanks, that's Maven. cool. I will link your channel below. Thank okay. you. Um,
yeah so i mean if you if you're saying that you know the uh, what justifies um essentially a holocaust of um animals um is because of the calorie density the protein content and the fat or, or you know nutritionally of those yeah, animals, one of the then, many reasons yeah. of of oh, why okay. of why people eat meat like I, oh, okay I think... but there's, yeah yeah that's one of the many reasons but if you get but that's the, the nutritional argument for it right because there's there's many different arguments for eating meat of course we understand that mm. but uh, i mean we have to, uh, <sighs> In the same way that we'd have to justify murder in the human context, we'd have to justify an um, animal murder um, point by point, right? To, to see whether they hold up. That's uh, true, but unless we're yeah, talking so, about so, hunting, like people are not going to go out and be like, "Oh, I'm just going to go and like kill a load of animals for fun." If I'm yeah, not going to yeah. eat, if I'm not going to eat them, of course, whereas, of course. Whereas if, whereas if they actually eat them, then that's that's like not the same thing. It's like it, it, it's much I, like yeah. saying, you know, "Oh, I'm just going to go out and start like." I don't know, tearing foxes apart by a bunch of dogs for a laugh. Yeah, yeah, um, of course, of course. There, there needs to be like a there needs to be like a justified reason for doing it, right? And if you want to go down the route of, you know, it's nutritionally uh, valuable to us. I mean, I don't know then, if it's superior, but what I'm saying oh, okay. is, I know that there is an argument to be made. Like I've heard, oh, yeah, know, I've heard of... yeah, I've heard it too. Like I've heard people say that. Um, uh, to, I to take it to the ludicrous degree, I've heard people say that. Um, plants are actually bad for us and we should be in a con purely carnivorous diet which have is like yeah oh yeah there are people out there like i can link some channels there's one called uh severage spelled s v three the the numeric um three mm. r i g e check out his videos it is okay. just is he's hilarious like he will advocate for purely eating meat and raw meat and raw eggs and raw milk um and that um <laughs> plant-based products are, are bad for us yeah 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 so there are those kind of nutritional arguments um i don't know how, how well I go on <laughs> yeah so like, i mean so, no, I mean, I mean th th this is what I understand to be true, right? And, and then, I mean, I don't, like I said, I'm because I'm not like, uh, and I cannot possibly pretend to be a sort of nutrition fiend and somebody who really knows my stuff on it. And neither am I, by the way. So, yeah. well, yeah, but but from what I understand, obviously, when it comes to portions of protein or, you know, vit mm -hmm. certain vitamins and minerals, etc., mm -hmm. there is definitely an argument to be made that meat can provide that. I am not actually as. I'm not um, aware of the level at which the vegan stand-ins, for example, like the the um, the meat, you know, the meat substitutes, as an example, or vegan cheese, etc. Like how much either better it is, or like how it stands up to mm -hmm. um, yeah. original meats and cheeses. Yeah, of course. Okay, so I would I would just advise look into that if you don't know, look into mm. it because. Um, uh, I mean, if you're saying, you know, is, uh, meat is important for the calorie density, the protein um, density and the, and the fat content, then I, I think you'll find, if you actually did some research, that you will find that plant-based products have those same uh, qualities as well. And okay, I but but not the... for 13,000 extra chews a year, can I say that? <laughs> um, so you know, do you, you know the article is like, oh, you have to chew at hundred and thirty thousand times extra, or, or or something, which is like uh, a really bizarre argument to make. I will agree. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't know how that would pertain to saying that. I think I think it's, it's probably more nutritionally valuable. No, it so, wouldn't. Yeah. But they brought it yeah. up in that article, which may or may not be absurd. But it seems seems a bit uh, absurd to me. But whatever. It's absurd. Yeah, yeah. But um, but what what I'm saying is, I think that the. Uh, I don't know for example like the texture of food is still important like i said it still goes away to link into the whole sort of fussy eater thing too okay. now i'm personally not but you know how there are people who say oh i don't like the texture of this or the mm -hmm. taste of that and so therefore i'm not going to have it yeah and because of the society we sort of live in that mm -hmm. does allow that sort of thing because mm -hmm. obviously you don't really have to do anything do you it's not like you're working in in the abattoir or something you just wander into the supermarket and go mm -hmm. oh i like the taste of this i'm just gonna pick it up and buy it well i could easily say like i um i, I i'm fussy in regards to who i like to have sex with and i i'm fussy i, I why do i need to get consent like i i, I just i just want to have sex and I feel like I should do that. Do you know what I mean? The, argu the argument can work that way as well. So um, uh, how is that a moral argument? How is that an argument that can 
um, justify killing an animal against their will if they have an interest in living, just in the same respects that people have an interest in not being exploited or raped? I mean, I, I think that, first of all, the same importance is within society itself and whether, mm -hmm. it, as I said previously, whether that be right or wrong, to, in my view, is a separate matter to the importance that simply is placed on that type of thing Ooh. by society. Uh, OK, do you think that... Um, it, hang on, say that again, sorry. Angel, OK, sorry. So, so the importance of, like, for example, somebody who is a fussy eater, for example, and who yeah. only eats, and I actually happen to know someone who eats two years. Um, mm. Let's say somebody only likes butter chicken, yeah? <laughs> so that he only likes... Um, that and and he likes little to nothing else um and he likes sort of cheeses and that kind of thing uh mm -hmm. and um he won't eat like anything else um in mm -hmm. in your view if if that was not an argument then to buy meat products in the supermarket which are obviously already there and i understand yeah. supply and demand still has something to do with it because obviously mm -hmm. the more meat that is bought the more animals die i understand that yeah. concept but but um say then this person goes in and says well I don't like anything else so I'm going to buy that um mm -hmm. would that then be moral in the sense of otherwise he would starve well I would say <laughs> I mean I mean okay. I know that can, uh, can I, can I, can I uh, wait wait wait, wait. Uh, no I, I, yeah Bohan go for it but I just want to just I want to get this out because I've I, to be honest, I really need to go for a pee, so I need to like. No, no, that's fine. I go. That's fine. Um, no, no, no. I'm, I'm aware of the time, by the way. So yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, it, it, angels, I told you before the stream that this would go over now. I didn't. I, I, I must be a prophet or something. Um. So the importance of um, you know, like fussy eating, like if they don't um eat what they want to eat, that the fact that they were starved. Okay, I, I'll I'll address that point. If you were to address that same logic of reasoning to people that um would say, okay. I don't want to, okay, I, I, I have a preference for blondes. Like I want to fuck blondes. I don't like brunettes, right? I want to fuck blondes. And if I don't get consent from them, then I'm just going to fuck them anyway, because I have a preference for it. Right. Um, Otherwise I'm going to, I'm not going to get my, I'm not going to, I, I like, I'm not, I'm going to like not be able to fuck without getting what I want. Um, uh, which is my preference. Okay. Uh, can you usually you can you use that same logic of reasoning? Not really, because you're not going to starve to death without having sex, but you're going to starve to death if you genuinely mm -hmm. are not going to eat anything. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I get what you're saying, but the thing is, <sighs> I mean, you could. Okay, so a butter. A butter I'm not sure how comfortable no, 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 I am no, no, with no, the rape that, analogy because I'm not sure it's like for like. I, I but that's that. But that's is it. It seems to me like a like a false. Um, uh, what's it called? A uh, uh, is it false dichotomy or what's it called? Uh, that uh, fall fallacious reasoning. Were you saying it's either butter chicken or nothing? Or um, yeah, uh, or I yeah. don't know. Let, let, no, let's say that there's somebody who likes like butter chicken, halloumi. Um, uh -huh. um, you know, say <laughs> bring one. Is so, there's like thousands upon thousands and of different steak. things you could eat, right? Right. Okay, but but yeah. I'm saying that there are people like that. All like, that's what I'm saying. So uh -huh. um, now, uh -huh. since they can walk into the supermarket and openly buy those things, right? Whereas they can't. I mean, first of all, like I said, they're not going to starve to death if they don't have sex. They don't have to go force themselves <laughs> upon people and then... Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I, I understand that it's a ludicrously extreme, yeah. you know, sort of thing, but that's what I'm saying, that there are people like that. Is that then immoral for them to eat meat products if they genuinely would, would yeah. starve if they didn't eat anything else? Yeah, it is, because they've still got a choice and cool. they, like, they can eat anything else. So, Han, can you take this over for me while I go to the toilet? So I'm really dying for piss. I mean... <laughs> Let's say, let's say um, Hannibal Lecter was like, yeah, you know what, Angels, you're dead, right? Um, I just like eating, you know, uh, livers of, you know, pe human beings. That's all I want to eat. Um, well, that's also your fellow human beings, isn't it? It's a little bit different. And like, as, as I said um, multiple times, I think people just like... They do whether you, we like it or not, and whether it's consistent or not, they will regard, or there are, uh, certainly a large proportion of people will not regard human beings and um, and sort of other animals in the same light. Mm. Yeah, but it's the same. It's the same reason. It's the same. Um, arg it's the same logical reason in that uh, banana was putting forth with the rape analogy. 
Well, like I said, you don't starve to death if you don't well, go around raping. Hannibal, Hannibal Lecter's going to starve to death. Well, Hannibal Lecter may well starve to death, but okay, then then we need to go back to name the trait. We need to say, well, what 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 is the difference that is present it's, it's because, in humans because, because it's going that's present around in animals that would make it okay. To do this to oh well, it. actually, on top of the fact, like if we we we're holding a lot of weight in the moral argument, which I understand why we are, but not least the legal one. And oh. anyway, anyway, doesn't pork taste really like human, according to cannibals? Um, yeah. Yeah, so he can just have a pork steak. Oh, it's not the same. No, right, but you. Do, it's you only do, like. You know what I'm saying, like, there is still that argument to be made, whether you agree with it or not. People walking in and saying, "Well, I don't like any any other thing on offer." You know, I don't like almond mm, milk. But you would reject it. You would reject it in the human context. Um. Uh, yes. Yeah. Well, not not least would, of all the fact that it's illegal, you'd be banged up for cannibalism and murder. But I mean, yeah. Well, well cannibal lecter could cannibal lecter could could eat other things. The argument, the example given, is someone who can't. No. Well, no. He's just saying he. He, the only things he like, only thing he likes is chicken. Yeah, but the argument isn't isn't so like the only whether thing someone that... can eat, so whether whether people can actually eat. You're arguing for a diet that is by obviously designed very very limited. You not you you you've written out um, uh, a vast swathes of of what human beings can eat. Um, so for someone who has a limited um, you know capacity for food tolerance, whatever it may be. Um, obviously, they're going to have to make certain choices that may preclude them from undertaking a vegan diet. That, that's the question we're being asked. Hannibal Lecter doesn't have that. The Hannibal Lecter has a preference for eating human flesh. He doesn't just eat human flesh, obviously. Hey guys, oh, I'm back. Say it was it was someone like Hannibal Lecter, but not Hannibal Lecter. Let's say all this. this, this, this say all I, no, no, no. Because you're saying, well, you know, he could eat other things. Well, the other person could eat other things. Well, no, I've just explained to you why they couldn't. Well, I can just make a hypothetical where, where the only person that the only thing that they can want to eat or can eat is human flesh. But the question but was specifically that. about people with with that with, with that intolerance. That was specifically the question. It's not a hypothetical. That was the point of the question. I'm very happy. Can you change that? Rohan, well, can you explain to me what your argument was there where I was just in the toilet? Sorry, oh, so I just, didn't get upset. Similar to yours. <laughs> right, love, I didn't want to shackle you to your seat. It was awful. <laughs> yeah, no, it was just similar to yours, but I put it into uh, basically if someone, if someone, their own preference was eating meat uh -huh. of humans, yeah. would, would, would that be justified then? And if you're going to reject it in that context, mm -hmm. then yeah, why not the other? Yeah, yeah. But in the context I was talking about was slightly different to that in the sense of uh, not only like this is true there could be for example medical reasons why they have to eat x products or they can't eat certain others I understand that it's a ludicrously um, sort of extreme example but what I'm trying to say is that you 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 know that would it then be a moral say they were allergic to everything except for dairy products uh, for example or um yeah like eggs or chicken and like fish and yeah okay, well, like, let, let, let's yeah. say they were allergic to uh everything but human flesh human milk well, and well that, that's yeah but i it is wouldn't that be cannibalism anyway which is well, widely yeah, and broadly be, known yeah. well the but, question is would it be ethical that, right but no but isn't that broadly known to be unhealthy for well, let's just well, say that it is healthy yeah. then so it is well, but I mean, is it? No, but the question is: in the, in the yeah, it doesn't matter. In the hypothetical. Um. Then, so so those people go into the supermarket. It's obviously totally. It's there anyway. Um. They go in and they say, "Oh well, not only do I like this, but I'm not allergic to it, so I'm then going to buy yes, it." Like and in order to eat, I'm not going to like murder a fellow human being and then and then like just sort of pretend like I can't eat anything else. Like I I don't. I don't see it as like for like whatsoever. I, do, I find it really, really um, a hard stretch to say that um, there are people that are allergic to every single plant in the world. Oh, so do, I. So, so do I. So do I. Don't like, get me wrong. But... Yeah, 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 yeah. But even if they were, would would it be ethical for them to murder human beings for them to survive? If if they could say so like if they could get a supplement where they could get all the nutritional value. And 
I mean, yeah, I, I, again, I can't see this. Like, to me, conceptually, it's not the same thing. Mm. I mean, you, you have to That's remember as, as well, even even if it, it is, it could, or at, at least can be, maybe perhaps even is, can be regarded as like regressive and or wrong or both for that matter. Mm -hmm. um, it is societal so much and yeah of course so yeah. so and I understand the should argument and I, I understand obviously the moral argument of it especially mm -hmm. no, I mean not least the fact that I I do obviously understand now um that you know you do you know well all of us really have a much broader choice of foods to to eat so there's not you know it's not the same what I would call either urgency or need for you know for, for necessarily somebody to largely eat meat within their diet so I can see that that argument yeah. but I am um, I still cannot really reconcile like I can't put the same I, I I just do not see how eating animal certain animals for the sake of say somebody you know somebody's version of a balanced diet is the same as going around murdering Human, human beings and that kind of thing okay I mean you could even make a legal argument for it mm -hmm. which which yeah. I don't necessarily think it, you know should stand up particularly well or is the only reason you know the only reason why someone would I'm just saying you could mm -hmm. even um, from from that perspective well yeah so yeah you could go down the legal route but you I, I'm sure as a you seem like uh, an intelligent rational person you understand that legality doesn't necessarily mean morality right oh yeah of yeah course. yeah so we can dismiss that and and i think you would no i wouldn't that. say we can dismiss it because i'm pretty sure that that even well, then like, okay. people are going to want to go around and being being like oh good um i really want to be on trial for murdering cannibalism uh, you know, i don't do, think do, we can dismiss it because <clears throat> i think slavery was legal once wasn't it well yes yeah, but yeah. but but the you know the the fact is I don't think people even if you use a totally let's let's get rid of morals for a second and let's just say that somebody is heartless enough let's say they're a complete psychopath and the only thing that they're worried about is being banged up and because if we're so fond of using hypotheticals I'll I'll mm -hmm. use, use one they don't want to be banged up um mm -hmm. you know obviously they are discouraged from the fact that they will get banged up for like murder charges and cannibalism right so so technically you could use that argument too you could say well it's different because they can walk into a supermarket and buy a steak or something and then go home and cook it perfectly legally and yet they can't actually go around slaughter someone and then you know eat them yeah so yeah so um if that is the case then there must be some kind of difference between humans and animals that justifies the difference in treatment right so what is that difference well, as, as far as treatment, no, 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 I'm talking about the, the legal perspective. I'm not worried about morals at this stage. Okay, so um, if, if, it, if legals are what you value the most, then it must mean mm -hmm. that there's... Um, that... They aren't what I value the most. What, what I'm saying is uh, uh, um, okay. that then, is uh, arguably uh, one aspect. Okay, so our, our, is legality the thing that you, you value the most when it comes to morality, yes or no? Plays a part. Well, does it... Does, it, um, does the uh, legality of something make um, the thing um, justifiable in of with itself? Um, some, um, yeah, again, it depends. Like, for example, Ooh, okay. drugs are illegal, right? Would I do loads more drugs if I possibly could? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I really wouldn't care about it either. So... Mm -hmm. So that's one example of where I mean, but but obviously I don't want to get banged up for like uh, possession or I don't know yeah. whatever. But but okay, so 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 the, so the right there then. So uh, does the the fact that the drugs are illegal make mm. it immoral to take drugs? Um, uh, I don't know whether I would argue one way or another on that. I mean, I personally uh, okay. don't. Uh, sorry, go on. Yeah, I know. I was going to say I don't really think. I mean, I personally am of the view, I know this is slightly un unrelated, but I just want to put it out there. Uh -huh. I'm personally of the view that all drugs uh, should be legal. So, um, okay. because, you oh, know, oh, yeah, okay. it, it's up to the individual whether they want to screw up their own system or not, I suppose. Yeah, um, so, so there you go. So you don't think that legality per se is a thing that um, makes things wrong or right in of, of itself, right? Because it's something, not something in else. of itself, but yeah. amongst yeah, yeah, yeah. Course, amongst yeah. other amongst other multiple factors, because it always comes down to multiple mm -hmm. factors and not just one. Then yes, I think it can play a part for some people. 
Okay, but in of of itself, it does not say whether something is moral or not, right? I would argue nothing does in in of itself because oh, I okay, okay. So if that's the case, if, so nothing dictates whether something is moral or not. Um, certain things, certain, right? certain, no, no, no. Certain things okay. are more important according to the human being than others. According, it's, so it's completely different. Every single human being will make their own judgment as to what they find unacceptable when it comes to a moral thing or not. Of course, uh, we have consequences for for people uh, okay. who go around doing horrendous things, and they have to face them. Okay, so it's not morality, though, right? It's um, a, not itself. Can we take that off the table? I I don't yes, no. think well I don't think it's I think what what you're trying to do I think that this is quite a limited way of approaching it because what is but moral to some someone it, like for example purpose, somebody might think it's so immoral to do drugs I don't you know so it's a ludicrous argument so but I would say in, in of and in, somebody else would yeah but per se that in of itself is legality a reason to say whether something is wrong or right or not or I mean, in of itself, it just on its own, on its own, that argument on its own. Can it some people might think so? Yeah, no, but in, no, I'm asking you though, in your opinion, because I'm my really, opinion, yes, it's in your not opinion. the only thing. Okay, so we can say that, okay, we can take it off the table. We say that's not in of itself. We can't reason. take any of these off the, the table, it's, it's a matter of importance, isn't it? According to the human being, isn't it? <sighs> Yeah, so but I'm trying to I'm trying what I'm trying to see, um, Angel. Uh, sorry, I'm I don't know what your real name is, but uh, should I call you Angels or <laughs> yeah, you, you can call me that because nobody else actually. Well, some people uh, know, but they won't know who it is. Okay, I don't I don't mind. Like, I'll call you Angels if you want, or okay. uh, whatever yeah, yeah, you prefer. Angels is good. Okay, Angels. I mean, what I'm trying to establish, right, is what do you hold to be the the, the most valuable thing that would um in and of itself justify murdering you, right? And I don't yeah. think you would say that whether it was legal or not, in and of itself would justify murdering you. No, but I've never said that that was the only factor. I've said it may be one. And, it, and okay, okay, okay. who are we to say that perhaps to other individuals it might not be either the only one or maybe the most Im important? Well, I mean, okay, but I'm, know, I'm, I'm, I'm asking you. Well, on a, person, on a personal yeah. level, um, I would view the whole thing as a complete mixed bag. I do oh, not okay. want to make a reductionist either argument or defect. Like I, to but me, multiple its, different factors yeah. matter. But on its own, if I was to say, angels, it's okay to murder you because um, the legal system says it's okay to murder you. Would, you. would you accept that, yes or no? Well, I mean, I would prefer it if you didn't. Okay, you prefer it if I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> that would indicate that you would think that unless I was not... really depressed. And I yeah, yeah. Um, but, yeah. But you're not but... depressed. So. No, 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 no. Okay. So in and of itself, it's not okay to murder you, but just because um, in a moral system, in, in a society where it's legal to murder you because you're, for whatever reason, I, I don't think you would you say that it's justifiable to murder you just because it's legal in the country that says it's legal to murder you. Well, no, um, okay. I don't think, I think the, the legal, you know, some people would place, though, for example, more importance uh -huh. on the legal side than others. And but, 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 but that's, that's fine. There mm. might be countries out there that say that because something is legal, therefore it's okay. For instance, ex for example, in countries that say that it's legal to um, for gen uh, female genital mutilation, right? It's okay to do that because it's legal in that country, therefore it's right and it's necessary. And there are some I, people that believe that. Of course, yeah, of it's course, fucked up. of course, yeah, of course, it's fucked up. Um, it's fucking fucked up, right? But um, this, this is, of course, because a certain country. Well, yeah, but this, this is also a difficult one because one might argue that we have our laws, so uh -huh. we have our legal standing within a country, arguably via the morality of that country, or like the or, or the perceived morality of that country on a large scale. Uh -huh. So, like. For example, our country is not into going around just freely beating people up and murdering people. And obviously, if you do that, then you get you face a court of law and then you get done for it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and why is that? Why do you think that is? Why do you think that we value, you know, like not beating up people for no reason? Than... Well, no, no. But that, that, that's my entire point. You, you, yeah. may argue, you may argue that the legal argument springs out of the moral argument. Well, yeah, it can be like a consequence of the moral argument. So do you think the moral argument supersedes the legal argument? 
Um, I personally think think yes, actually, yeah. uh, overall. I agree. Yeah, yeah. But I, I, I do think, again, that the legal argument might come into it as far as being dissuasive to people. Well, of course, but the moral argument should come first, right, before, and then the legal argument should come secondary, in based my, on what the moral principles of the argument are. In, in, my, in my personal view. Yes, that's all I'm interested in. I'm yes. interested I mean, in I mean, personal view. I mean, yeah, but, just, but I'm, yeah. willing to, I'm willing to accept that uh, there are fellow human beings who do not think in that manner. Okay, but do you accept their argument? Um, I ex hmm. well, I guess it. I guess it depends on who. I guess it depends on who's making it. <clears throat> uh, uh, yeah. um, and, and, and what like the different factors are. I mean, I don't. Well, I, cer I certainly don't don't judge them horrendously. For example, I do well, believe okay. that society, like societally, I think that mm -hmm. um, we we do whether we like it or not live in a society where eating animal products is the norm. Quote. Well, okay. Well, let's just say that you're living in Saudi Arabia and not Saudi Arabia, Somalia. You're living in Somalia now, and mm -hmm. you don't think that it's morally acceptable for little, like um, young girls, to have their clitorises cut off with blunt, rusty knives, right? Because it's immoral in your system, but it's legal in that country. Could you say, okay, it's it's fine to do that because in that society, like I, I have to listen to the arguments and just weigh up all the evidence and make my decision based on. Like, could you ever say that, or is the or is the actual argument? No, of course, um, of, of, of course, in that particular case, which is yeah. is is not, you know, the same as walking into waitress and buying a pack of sausages. In my view, in fact, it's so far mm -hmm. <clears throat> sort of separate that I wouldn't even put it in the same sentence. Yeah. But, but, but it's an immoral act, right? You um, well, I personally would view it, of course, as obscenely of immoral. Of course, of course, but, yeah. But, but there will be people who are in that country who think that because it's cultural, mm -hmm. it's perfectly acceptable. And you wouldn't agree with that though, right? Of course I personally wouldn't, yeah. but there are people who do, is what I'm saying. Yeah, and, but would you think that because it's legal that it's right? No, no, but uh, but, yeah. but but that's, and this yeah. is my, my personal view, but there may be other people, for example, say somebody mm -hmm. believes in certain ritual, ritualistic stuff or whatever, mm -hmm. Um, and and because it's culturally acceptable to do that mm -hmm. obscene sort of stuff, that um, they would essentially think it was okay because culturally, in their culturally. view, it's okay. Culturally, right, yeah. Well, I mean, you but, know, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say, like, I don't really know exactly specifically who we're talking about, but there will be people where if it's legal in a country and yeah. some sort of, you know, it's linked to religion or it's linked to some uh -huh. sort of I don't know. Culturally, um, yeah, yeah. And they will think that that is acceptable. Yeah, of course. You know? The people that says, yeah, of course. Necessarily you're just make me agree with them, but yeah, of course. You're just describing what was is culturally acceptable within that country, whatever country you'll be living in, where you don't think is acceptable. But I'm only interested in what you think. I'm not interested in what other people think well, and what is culturally uh, what, acceptable. What I'm saying is that I can give you my opinions, but mm -hmm. it doesn't really detract from the fact that, mm -hmm. you know, there are arguments to be made elsewhere from mm -hmm. people, for example, that I do not necessarily personally agree with does not yeah. necessarily mean that their arguments are invalid. And I'm not talking about so, absurd, okay. like, uh, like oh. insulation and stuff. I mean, yeah. like, you know, somebody who eats eggs or something, or, or you know, they like okay. to eat raw eggs in the morning. I mean, you know, it, it's not. So, so if you think, if, there's like a, if there's something that's immoral in another country and you think it's unacceptable, right? How can you say that, okay, another immoral act isn't justifiable, um, is justifiable because of the fact that is it is um, culturally appropriate from that country? How can you say that? Or what does uh, uh, well, what, what, what do Okay, so if you if you're saying that okay, um, if an immoral act is justifiable, justifiable in wherever it is because of the fact that it's cultural and because of the fact that it's legal in that country, and then you don't agree with it, mm. how can you say that another immoral act is justifiable because of the fact that? Um, uh, how can you distinguish between the immoral acts to say that one is justifiable and one is not justifiable? Based uh, when you are saying that. You can't say that the culture or the legality justifies the immoral act. So, but what is it that distinguishes? Can, no, you, 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 you can easily. So how? How? Yeah, how? Because because not everything is on the same degree. I I think I think this is the problem. The argument that 
we're trying to discuss is lacking subtlety. There is okay, a sliding so scale. Yeah. I want to get to subtlety. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to get to. Yeah. Because walking in, yeah, but which is why I'm saying that walking into Waitrose, for example, mm -hmm. and buying, um, I don't know, sausages or whatever yeah. what, if someone wants, is not um, the same degree of, I mean, e even if you say, oh, no, it's awful, this poor animal's uh, suffered for this, even if somebody was to view human beings and other animals, for example, with, with less awareness on the exact same level, and some mm -hmm. people do, some people don't. Yeah, like they're trying to equalise. It's not the same as saying, oh, you know, I think that okay. we should abuse child, uh, sort of children and go around murdering people. Like, oh, I don't... Okay. I, it, it's not like for like is what I'm saying. I, okay. I think well, the, just... the argument is not is not valid because it's not the same thing. Okay, well, let's all. just okay. Well, let's just let's just equalize it. Let's just say that um, the human is trait equalized to the animal now. Is um, it justified to kill the animal if they're trait equalized? If if they uh, meaning sort of if uh, so so if the animal is um the, uh, has the same kind of sentience as a human being now. So mm. the human is is trait equalized now to the to the animal. Mm. Okay, so they have the same sentience, they have the same intelligence, they have the same capacity for philosophy and morality, everything that G was talking about earlier on. Everything is trait equalized now in the human context as the animal context. What now justifies the murder of the animal as opposed to the human? Um, well, I would probably make an argument that that would that would change things in my view actually um yeah yeah i i think that there is a scale whether we like it or not and um, whether that makes us imperfect or not is n neither here nor there okay. but I, I i would argue that that essentially may well uh, change things in the minds of of some people i think that if you know you don't want to go around you know yeah you don't want to go around like murdering um fellow human beings for example but i do think that the awareness well, thing and the conceptual thing comes into it enormously oh, okay so so hang on let's just go over that again so if if the human in every way was trait equalized to the to the animal now what is it specific specifically now that justifies the murder in the in the animal context as opposed to the human context specifically uh, what the, 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 so, well, first of all, you're not murdering human beings to eat because you can eat animals. So yeah, but is that say that, let's say that we are now, though, and they are nutritious for us. Well, I mean, that's ridiculous because then you could argue if, you know, it, it doesn't, it's, again, it's not, what it's trying to do is not compare like for like. Um, well, we are comparing like for like because it's in a hypothetical where they are trait equalized and they are nutritionally valuable for us to eat humans. But hypothetical is not real here and now. It's not reality, yeah. But I'm just trying to point out the logical extensions of your own moral system, angels. That's all. I'm just trying to get to what your moral system leads to. Um. Well, I mean... It doesn't matter if it's in reality or not. I'm just trying to point out where it leads to, not what you believe is... In I mean, I would say that massively reality comes into it. I, I don't... <laughs> I'm, I'm led way more by pragmatism than than anything yeah. else because I could make okay. up hypotheticals for the rest of my life yeah. and it still wouldn't necessarily make it true. Yeah, yeah, that's that's actually that's, that's actually fine. Yeah, I can take your pragmatic argument, but I'm still going to point out the principled logical extension of your moral system. Mm. And I, I I want you to concede on that. Um uh, so uh, what I'm trying to get at is if you're if you're trait equalizing human beings to animals, what is it specifically that justifies the difference in treatment in the hypothetical situation where it's in in the hypothetical? What what would that be? Just 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 would, like would, would, so 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 okay. So what you're saying is, if it were absolutely categorically proven and mm -hmm. there was no getting out of it that, yeah. that that basically it was a fellow human being and not another animal then mm -hmm. like you know with far less awareness in, in yeah. intelligence insight what, whatever you want to call it like mm -hmm. um uh, would that potentially change things for a lot of people potentially including me probably mm -hmm. but we aren't there yet and so therefore i'm not willing to concede anything because until yeah, i'm but, given hard evidence to the opposite yeah, not... yeah but the thing is it still doesn't feel like you're engaging with the the hypothetical no i'm not 
but then yeah. I don't like hypothetical because I know, if, I know. If, if the dog hadn't stopped for a shit, he'd have caught yeah. the rabbit. I mean, I just, I, I don't, you know, I don't see yeah. how it's as relevant as we're trying to make it. But can you just, just, can you just engage with the hypothetical just so we can get to the logical extension of your own moral system? Uh, I could try, but I yeah, I just try for me. I mean, I'll try, I mean, why but not? You why know not? <laughs> Well, no, it's just because, it, to me, it's pragmatism at all costs. Pragmatism in reality and what we're faced with now. Oh, okay, okay. I want to start do, 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 with... Do you, do, do you think that uh, principled arguments are important compared to uh, pragmatics? I think they play a part. Well, do you think they are more important than pragmatism or not? No. Okay, so if that was the case, then if it was pragmatic to kill human beings then it would be okay to do so, right? No, because I, I'm, I did okay. also say, because then this is what I do not appreciate is my words being twisted, because what I in fact said was, mm -hmm. I do not hold more importance on some sort of relatively unrelated what mm -hmm. if scenario than what we're actually faced with. I believe that both are important yeah. and one is not mutually exclusive to the other. Oh, okay, so if it was, I, if it, if it was um, pragmatic to kill human beings now, for whatever reason, okay, say like uh, I don't know, it's more uh, it was more environmentally friendly to kill human beings now or something. I don't know, um, whatever the case may be. But whatever you find more important now, pragmatically to kill human beings for, would it be okay to kill human beings because of the pragmatic argument for killing them? Well, I think I've already said that I do not view uh, uh human beings the same as uh, other animals for multiple no, but that's not the question i asked you it doesn't feel like you're answering my question well i feel like they are quite black and white when it comes to a gray area um well not really because no, i mean you. i wouldn't of course i wouldn't want to go around murdering fellow human beings well, they equally don't don't eat fellow human beings, so there would wouldn't really be a need well, to go into Waitrose yeah. and buy chopped up human. Yeah, but the thing is, do you understand the 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 distinction? Oh, I'm sure you do. You're not like stupid. You understand the difference between like a descriptive argument and a prescriptive argument, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I don't really like the the whole. I mean, like, I I'm much more of a sort of a pragmatist rather than a yeah, yeah. sort of arty you know sort of arty mm -hmm. philosophical type I, I I can can understand where one comes from I can understand mm -hmm. where, where people come from but it doesn't really resonate particularly with me and never will because pragmatism is such a huge oh, okay. part of the way that I think yeah yeah well I can I, I could say in I could say then um I I, I don't really hold uh the, the prescriptive argument to be important to me if I want to, if I don't want to get consent for people that I want to rape. Well, I mean, I, I don't really, we're going back again to the rape and age. It's not the same thing, is it? Um, well, it's not the same thing, but it's a, it's a descriptive argument for justifying something. So do you think that that is, do you think that is ethical to say that, okay, descriptively, because I don't think I, I, I have a preference to, uh, I, I don't want to have to get consent from someone to have sex with them that that is ethical to do it but i mean the, that's a completely separate point to uh, to okay. argue whether or something is or isn't ethical like when you're talking about people actually eating in order to survive is completely yeah. different going around forcing them yourself on someone and having sex i mean it's just not well i don't see even uh, if even if i had to get the most arty party i possibly could it still wouldn't be similar well so okay say, um yeah for well for one i mean yeah yeah okay i don't need to have sex with people to survive but w what you're arguing for is that descriptively it's okay to kill animals because of whatever reason i'm not i'm um, not necessarily saying it's it's ideal mm -hmm. and like and also in an ideal world would more people eat less meat probably like and they could argue the moral case like da you know down to the ground and stuff but i i don't hold it like i don't view it in the same way is is somebody going around uh, unnecessarily murdering and raping fellow human beings well, which they're clearly not going to eat anyway so there's you know well, just... well here's the thing you keep saying i don't hold it the, the same as doing this to humans but no one's saying it is the same mm -hmm. okay well because i just i don't think i will ever view that as being you know a thing quite unquote 
Well, I, I don't think I'll ever view murdering a human as... as Me neither. <laughs> an animal either. So, so your entire argument, basically, because we, we will, I'm, 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 I really appreciate, it, by the way, guys, that you showed up, and I am conscious of the time, and I understand that you have to get to bed. But what if I, if I quickly had to sum up something, um, as in, sort of, as a concept, what you're saying is primarily, it's not like you, va well, for, for for want of a better word, value. Um, uh, animal say say killing an animal in your view is potentially not quite as bad as going around murdering some like another human mm -hmm. however in your minds because it is not necessary or, or necessary in the society that we live in because of what is available to us that more of us should be more aware of that and therefore try and avoid it yes. try and avoid eating meat where we can Yes, because in the human context, if it was not necessary to kill a human being for survival, you would not do that. So not killing animals is a logical extension of not killing humans for the same reasons. Unless you can identify like a reason why it is justifiable that would hold up in the in the human context. And yeah, then it'll be I, consistent. I wouldn't say it's illogical, but I would also argue that consistency um is not necessarily going to be true on every level. Um, should it, it in a moral really context? Be black and white. Yes. But in a moral it? context. In a moral context, would you say it's it's important the consistency? Uh, relatively. Relatively. Okay. If you're saying relatively, then you need to draw a line where it is relatively important or not. So, is it relative? Where would you draw the line in the human context where it was relatively okay? consistently to kill human beings all right well i wouldn't say kill but i would say so, like, for, needlessly for food oh um what what you mean um well i mean again if you're killing animal for food it's yeah. different to going out and murdering someone for, for fun because uh, you're not nine times out of ten uh, gonna be a cannibal, are you? No, no no but the question is in the human context where would it relatively be okay to consistently kill human beings for food needless needlessly where would you draw the line there okay so for example i would oh. mind far less if some like arsehole was punched in the face or even murdered then i would uh, care for example somebody that was very close to me that i knew was a really lovely oh, individual okay. in the so uh, so yeah there, um, there would still i would and and in that sense i would be inconsistent but I don't feel like that's an answer to the question because my question is. Well, it is. Where, where, I'm, I am morally inconsistent, and I'm okay with that. Oh uh, yeah, but the, yeah. So, the, but the question that I really feel like I need the answer to is: where would you draw the line in the human context where it would be okay to murder them for food or not? Where would you draw the line? Where, like, is there is there like um, a certain is there something? A true of the human which would make it justifiable to kill them for food needlessly yes or no uh, uh, when it comes to murdering a human yes 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 um well no no because you don't you wouldn't okay. eat a human anyway but yeah. okay okay so you wouldn't eat you wouldn't eat a human anyway well no i mean yeah you unless, uh, unless uh, you're in, mm. yeah 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 i agree so so then if you take it to the to the animal context right then then these and, and you draw the 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 same sort of um it's an arbitrary line right you draw that arbitrary line to say that okay it's not okay in the human context and we draw that arbitrary line that says that um i wouldn't justify in the in the human context because i, I value something over something else then you have to then um apply in the in the animal contexts um to the same degree if you can't do that then you need to say why that is the case well, but maybe you just do not regard animals as important as yeah. other human beings. That's fine. You can say that. You can say they're not as important. Absolutely, you can. But there needs to be a reason why, right? Because in the same uh, context, that in the human context, you say that some humans aren't as important as others. You need to justify why that well, is, right? If I'm that? honest, I think it's probably just species bias and it's perfectly natural. Okay. okay, that's fine. So the species bias, we can go with that. So, yeah, and and, yeah, so, and and it is also largely true to say that human beings, uh, this is, goes back to G. Whistler's argument, uh -huh. whilst there may be individuals who uh, suffer from one thing or another, which obviously are looked after by other human uh -huh. beings, right? 
um it, there is an element of awareness and intelligence and yep. um, a, a, a sort of concept that humans largely have yep. above multiple different species of animal and so yeah, therefore of course, yeah. you will end up whether you like it or not regarding them differently and that is where mm -hmm. i will sort of draw draw the the line and i'm i can't that yeah. is the way that i will describe it and there is no getting out of that Okay, so you draw the line at awareness and um, intelligence. Uh, no, no, combined with combined oh. with species bias, combined with the reality oh, okay. of biological science and what we have learned from um, sort of various different species, and also the fact that that I mean, you can bring up the health issues and all this, but you don't. Uh -huh. you know, not really particularly good to go around killing humans and eating them anyway not to mention the legal arguments that's four or five different reasons right there. yeah well we got i think we've got legality off the table though didn't we because you agreed that you wouldn't use it off the table but well, okay, well, okay let's go back to what well, 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 uh, angels let's go back to the legality then if you want to take that off because the thing is if you're saying that legality if you're saying that health um uh what was it biology the biology of science or something intelligence awareness there's like that's that's like one two three four five different things there yeah, of you course. could use to justify yeah that you could just you could you could use them same five traits to justify murder in the human context so well, no you couldn't because why not well because the whole point is if you're using for example well two arguments Look. if 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 you go and kill for example in a place oh. say you have a licensed shotgun and you go into a, um, a forest where you are legally allowed to shoot a grouse and eat it, right? Mm -hmm. So you go and, and kill them. So, 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 okay, so, so, yeah. but all I'm saying is you, you wanted me to go through factors whereby it's different. If you go into that same forest and you kill a man, mm -hmm. You know, one is legal, perfectly legal, and the other one is not. So if you want to use the legal argument, you could say that. If you want to use the... Um, awareness argument if you go around and like slaughter yeah. uh, i don't know a another human being or just a walk into let's just pick somebody off the street you go around and like slaughter them you've just slaughtered a fellow human being for no fucking reason whatsoever because you're not even going to eat them mm -hmm. whereas if you walk into and even including the supply and demand argument if you walk into waitrose and you buy like a i don't know a beef steak or something um, that's not like for like. It's not the same thing, and yet it's still addressing oh. the other point. Right, well, let's how, go. how is it not like for like? What is it that's oh. different about the state that's different about the human? Well, first of all, you're not committing murder. Um, uh, and, and I mean, I mean, okay. I mean, well, well, let's, well let's, let's slaughter then. Right, well, 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 I mean, that, yeah, that's one argument, but I mean, you're still uh, going to yeah. eat it, whereas you're not going to like slaughter well, yeah. a human being and eat it, are you? Unless you're a cannibal, which is almost irrelevant. Yeah, yeah, so okay. Okay, humans are nutritious now. Humans are nutritious. Um, humans are nutritious, and it's legal are, to kill them. It's legal to kill them. Yeah. That that. Um, oh God! I mean, I don't know. I'll ask uh, someone. I mean, maybe they would like to. Uh, I I have no idea. No, no, but, no, but we're, we're, this is a principled argument now. So all right, going by what, bias. what is yeah. principle? Principle okay. of species bias. Okay, You're so always going to want to look after your own. Um, so, species wise, yeah. rather more than um, other beings uh, who are nowhere near as aware and. Uh, okay, um, so, okay, so angels, we take legality and health of the table now. We're left with um, awareness, intelligence, and uh, biology, scientific biology. That's what we're left with. Those three so, ones. And now, species, yeah? I don't know, you can't take species off the table because um, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, a natural, yeah. it's a natural okay, scientific okay, thing. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. so. Do you agree that we need to go through these one by one because we would need to do that in the human context where we would have to justify murder? I, no, I think but, we can put them of all human together. beings. I think we can put them all together. It makes her happier. But I mean, well, look, yeah, every yeah. single yeah. one, because what I'm saying is to varying degrees, um, according to the person that you're asking, mm -hmm. they all matter or may matter. You okay, know? So, 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 to, so if they don't matter, if we take each point one by one, species, awareness intelligence and biology if each individual trait does not justify murder and we add them all up together as a totality how would that in totality justify murder if each individual trait does not justify murder well it's not murder for a start it's the killing well, okay of, okay uh, okay okay slaughter neither slaughter then whatever you want to call it well i mean it's not 
need less in the sense of people still eat them. Well, if it is needless in the sense that we don't need it to, to survive and we're doing it for needless reasons. Yeah, but you don't need to go out and buy clothing in order to survive. You could make your own. I mean, it, 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 you know, if, if you like hypothetical. Okay, how is, it, how is that a moral argument, though? Like, well, because, moral, because, moral because, clothes? Well, because essentially you go out, is you it, buy clothes and is you're, it right you're, wrong, is it right you're contributing right? to sweatshops in China. I mean, you know, it, it's, it's a ludicrous argument because you could make it. Okay, from, do we, you know, do you, do you, is it right, is it evil to buy clothes? Um, it is is well i mean what what is what do you think let, to, let, let, it, no, let, let asking, me turn it around no 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 I'd, it, I'd like to ask you something because you've done a lot of question asking okay um, okay <laughs> do you think that it is moral to mm -hmm. potentially prop up an industry whereby people are like children in china mm -hmm. for example in order to to buy cheapish clothes are working like 18 hours a day in sweatshops and being yeah. paid less than minimum wage and often dying on on the uh -huh. the job and in all, and by buying clothes from that particular thing, do you think that that's moral? Okay, what I would say to this is, okay, um, those people in China that are in the sweatshops making um, the clothes, okay. if they uh, weren't doing that, what would they be doing? Well, no, that's not really an argument. No, 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 no. That's like saying okay, how okay. long is a piece of string. Okay, <laughs> so if they, if, they, if they weren't making clothes, they'd be working on the land. Which is a better job, working in a sweatshop or working on the land? Well, that's subjective for a start. Look, do you, okay. do you, do you see what I'm saying? Let me explain. Let me explain the whole this moral argument. argument quote no, unquote, no, 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 no. Before you go on. That's my point. Before you go on. So it, it, basically, if you're going to boycott these people, you're basically just making them unemployed. So yeah. instead of having the best right. job that was available to them, that's why they took it. You've made them poor. They no, could use it. it. What other choices have they got? Well, you what? could you could resist the uh, you could work together to get rid of the system that impresses all of this. Uh, how would you do that? Um, working class consciousness, direct action, mutual aid. What does that mean? Direct action, people working together to overthrow the system of capitalism that is causing the, the so unethical what consumption. Is, that what would you actually have to do to do that? What Here would you go. do to do that? <laughs> That's what Will <laughs> Slater has just said. He's uh, exactly said that in the side chat. Could, of course, just go full left and say that no consumerism is ethical under capitalism. Okay, so if I want no. to buy clothes now, what would... Uh, how would I make these people in China any best, any better, better off by not buying their clothes? Right, well, would you have to invade China to make sure that they go with your laws that you want to apply? I mean, how are you going to? Well, your your them? question is a false dichotomy. You've just given two choices. Ooh, well, no, no, I'm asking you. How well, would I improve the people? Working in the land land would be worse. Okay, so how would I improve the people that work in the sweatshop's life by not buying the clothes that they work to to produce for me? I've told you. How? By overthrowing the system. How do I overthrow the system? I told you that as well. Okay, tell me again. Working class consciousness, direct aid, uh, direct action, mutual aid. What does that mean? I don't. Um, that doesn't mean anything. My, what to I'm me. saying is that you get the working class in the society uh -huh. to work together to overthrow these oppressive systems to I take control of the means of production and so therefore they control the actual workplaces that they're in and they get to then set the terms okay. uh, of, of, okay. having, uh, of what they work for all right so how what does that mean to me like what do i actually have to do to make the work to uh, improve people working in sweatshop like what does that actually doesn't mean anything to me okay do you, you know what socialism is yeah Okay, so find some socialists and work with them. Start in your local community. Right, okay. Local projects and then go from there. <laughs> I mean, presumably you agree that industrial um, agriculture is... Yeah, yeah, just uh, don't buy the stuff. Just convince everyone to go commie, yeah. Yeah. yeah that's not going to happen, is I didn't advocate communism. You're not listening. Uh -huh. Oh, same thing. I mean, you've okay, proposed so, a false dichotomy and you're arguing that people should, that if people uh, don't so, buy from, um, you know, whomever, that they are going to then be forced into something that, that you haven't explained how is worse. How is working so, the land that you gave as your alternative choice? Oh my God. Worse? How is working the land worse than working inside in a sweatshop? Well, are you aware of how bad working in a sweatshop is? Uh, not as bad as working the land. What would they be doing? <laughs> uh, what what like, do you envisage that as being? Sorry? What do you envisage as working the land? What do you mean when you say working the land? Um, 
uh, like digging up crops and stuff, agricultural workers. Well, so presumably the sort of work that's going to be necessary to feed a vegan society. Well, to feed feed any society, to feed the animals that you're eating as well. well we have I'm machines to do that your now. Diet. You've you've advocated that we, no, we no, no. Eat plant food. And now you're saying that the work involved in that is um, going to be um, unpleasant. Um, we literally feed plants to animals to eat them. Yeah, so I don't it, agree it, with that, it, as I said earlier. I don't well, agree with that. No, well, that's, that's that, natural that, diet. No, that is factual, though. We do feed plants to animals. Yes, I know. And, the, yeah. and the, I, I agreed with that. That's what Maven said earlier. And I said so I don't agree with feeding grain to cows. Uh, oh, yeah, right, but... Yeah. but <laughs> oh, God. So you're against I mean, factory that, farming as well? Yes, I don't yeah. agree with All oh, right, so you're basically advocating for, like, one want a meat meal like maybe every few months for every human being then why would i be advocating that because it would be completely unsustainable if you were trying to have grass-fed beef to the whole why world so? i have a question I didn't um, say that either. you're i think you're assuming that the whole world would eat it would eat beef you also well, assume that there wouldn't be enough land to, to graze cattle oh so you, only want it, you only want it for rich people it's only rich, rich countries should people eat people who choose to eat it. There would still be people who want to not eat. I'm not forcing people to eat. That's the difference between us. My I'm world view doesn't necessarily say that every, no, but no, you're no, a vegan. No, no. I'm trying to say that everybody refuses to eat meat. I don't well, have that limitation. Yeah, but the thing is, G, we're trying to convince people on the principled argument of um, veganism, veganism um, not just a pragmatic argument. So, like, if you're saying, okay, it's... Um, it's more environmentally friendly to graze at, at well you're not saying it's envi more environmentally friendly you haven't made that argument but you're saying it's better ethically to graze animals rather than to feed them grains um well that's fine but it doesn't really say anything about um whether it's okay to actually kill them if they have an interest in living right what i'm saying is that um it's not it's what not simply a moral for. argument I, I i personally think that factory farming um uh okay. is 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 less moral for the simple reason that it's inefficient and it's needlessly uh, it, it treats animals and are uh, um, mm -hmm. um needlessly cruel well, i don't think mean, cruelty mm -hmm. is required for the killing of animals yeah. for food i think as i, I mean, said before it should be done. hang on i'm still explaining oh. i think it should be done respectfully i don't think it, it profligacy yeah. is, is required also yeah. um at feeding animals by grazing them on pasture eats that gets them fed properly their natural proper diet and it's good for the environment Okay, so there's two arguments there. There's the environmental impact of um, feeding animals grains, and there's the ethical argument for whether it's okay to kill them needlessly or uh, it's okay to kill them uh, based on the fact of whether it's cruel or not. So you could just apply that to the human context. Is it now ethical to kill human be human beings that have an interest in living if it's not cruel, if, if you're not doing it in a cruel way? And if, is it ethical to kill human beings? if um, you could do it more environmentally friendly by doing so? Uh, uh, same answer I gave before. He doesn't like these questions. He doesn't like these... Well, what's, the answer? Answer. what's the answer? So what's the answer? The answer is the same one I gave before. I extend Which the species. Is... But I think human beings, are, um, human, beings aren't, uh, human beings have a greater mm -hmm. capacity of moral worth than animals. Oh, a greater capacity of moral worth. So if they didn't have a greater capacity of moral worth, would it be okay to kill them now? So, for right, instance... But they the... do, so I don't see there the are that. No, but there are questions, like we said before. No, 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 because there are human beings that don't have the capacity and moral worth. So who is it okay to hold a, who, who said they have got moral worth? The the retards that don't have any extrinsic value to anyone else, that they're confined to a universe box that they don't have any extrinsic value to anyone else. You you think do you think we, that there are people on earth who, who don't have moral value? They are in the universe box in the hypothetical. What moral value to other people, I believe, you said meant. No, your hypothetical has no bearing on reality. It's pointless. But, I, but then I pointed out that I'm just trying to point out the moral extensions of your um, moral system. So let's go along with the moral well, they're system. Meaningless. They're meaningless if they're not based on anything real. I'm not interested is it in meaning, answering. Is it uh, meaningless? In a hypotheticals. Is, is it meaningless? So discuss real stuff. There you go, guys. Hypotheticals are pointless. <laughs> <laughs> hypotheticals are pointless. Yeah. You've, twist, you've, you've twisted what I've said. Uh, okay, so are, are hypotheticals um, meaningless? Uh, I, when they extend, if, when they, when I'm answering you, when they stretch reality to um, to unreal uh, levels, then yes. It's okay, pointless. so how, go, how do we point out um, the moral um, me, extensions of your moral system without using hypotheticals? That's your problem, not mine. 
okay, so it doesn't matter then if it doesn't like, ha so we don't have to use hypotheticals in pointing out moral extensions of your of your moral system. No, we can discuss the issues involved in veganism without going down these rabbit holes that have no bearing can on we, reality. Can we Asking use me a question can we use, about whether? So can we use hypotheticals to point out the moral extension of your moral system? Yes or no? Is that is that a, is that a worthy thing to do? Is that a valuable thing to do? Not when they extend. Not not when they go down okay. completely unrealistic rabbit holes. Okay. I mean, I mean, argued, argued I mean, it's it's on, weird because like that. if you were taking like a philosophy, uh, like a philosophy. You've broken up. I can't hear you. No, I I thought it was me. I thought it was my internet actually giving up again. Uh, can't hear you. Um, if you're speaking, Bernard, I can't hear you. No, oh, it's just disconnected. I think. Oh, okay. <clears throat> well, well I anyway, know. that's. I mean, I'll go on to um, a different argument, and you and this. I mean, surely this might resonate with you, G Whistler, a bit more, right? And uh, maybe you as well, Angels. Uh -huh. Right. It's a complete waste of resources to uh, currently do the way we um, feed animals for example it's it's like a it's a loss of food a ridic at a ridiculous amount for example with the current food that we grow as in plants that we grow uh, we could feed like over 12 billion people uh -huh. are you referring to corn i'm referring to corn yeah yeah but you could you could grow something else in in that place yeah, you could grow grass, for example. Well, on some places you can't. Um, Hello, can you so, hear me? Oh, yeah, yeah. Can yeah. Hear you. Can you hear me? Oh, sorry, I don't know what happened there. Um, I'm back though. What did I miss? Uh, we sorry. were just saying about how. Um, uh, by how I'm saying about how uh, you could. Uh, sorry, what what you're going on about? Like growing. Oh, I'm just talking about how it's a complete waste of resources to grow food. Oh, guys, I I'm, I can't stay on the live stream for. I'm going to go. Uh, I think we're losing her. Um, oh, well, look, 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 look. We will go to, We can always do um, another one soon, but it's really late, and I appreciate you guys uh, coming on. Oh, it's angels! Uh, to, uh, to be honest, I've had this has been amazing. Thank you so much for having me on. I've really no, enjoyed it. So, thank, yeah. you, thank you for turning yeah. up. It's my vegan guest of honor. We can do another <laughs> one in, uh, another day. No, but oh, I'd love to. Honestly, it's been great. Yeah, yeah. Yes, and thank you. And cheers to all the guys in the side chat. And I'm sorry that I I haven't really got to um address a lot. Of, of what they said but I'll um, have a look over it and what I'm going to do as well is put all of your channels in the description below after the stream and I will also put your um, Twitters of following yeah. it also if you want to so um, obviously just to just to give a shout out and thank you to Banana Warrior Princess what a name by the way thank um, you <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah no no definitely uh, give her a follow on Twitter um, at what, what was it a B-Dub Princess right yeah, yeah. Okay, happy Dub Princess, but I'll put I'll put the link below and the link to her channel. So if you want to go and subscribe, um, I'll put the other guys' channels there as well, and I will let everybody know, um, whenever uh, we do something else. But thank you all for turning up, and I will go off there now, and um, no doubt we can have a quick natter before bed. So cheers, guys. See you soon. All right. See you later. Good night, everyone.